I think the I started today with a like a whoops, that's not what I'm trying to do. With a mini streak and it's definitely gone by now. All right. And I usually find bombs that's not too bad, but today they've been a little bad. Oh, this one's getting absolutely murdered. Um <laughs> Those ball pythons are like deceptively tough. Like they don't look that tough, but they can absolutely because they can constrict you and then absolutely murder you sometimes. As an early game character, anyway. I mean, later on, they can't murder you quite as well. All right, good. Got some gloves. Maybe this character will survive long enough to actually get Okamaru. Oh man. Oh, it's Crystal Plate. Oh, I mean, can't really. Because if I put it on, it would slow my attack delay. Um, hmm. That's a shame. That would have been really good for a lot of characters, just not this character. All right. D2 Crystal Plate is hilarious. Yeah, I mean, man, so many fighters would absolutely love to find some D2 Crystal Plate armor. But with my 12 strats, that's uh, going to be a bit questionable. I mean, obviously I could switch to swords or something, but I don't think I will. I think I just had to ignore the D2 crystal plate. Ooh, poison resist, resist electric, minus 5 in, plus 5 slaying. Cloak here, do I need is 420 gold? Okay. Well, let me just save up for that one, because that would make a pretty big difference. Man, I hope I live long enough to get that one. Alright. Ooh, a wand. My best. That could help. Yeah, early wand's always really nice. Okay. Uh, I can't wear this artifact helmet. It's fire to this gold intelligence, man. That's a really nice helmet. Oh, well. Sometimes you get uh, punished for playing Formosan, I think. As far as your failed characters, do most of them die in the early game? Yeah, definitely most of them do. Um, I've definitely had some later game characters die recently, though. But yeah, the majority of them die, I don't know, probably more than the first 10 levels of the dungeon type thing. And then once they get going, I don't usually kill them. That being said, I have lost like a total of 500 runes to various characters that have died with runes. Oh, that's way too much stuff. Oh, don't confuse me, come on. What did I get? Oh, it's a haste potion. Uh, I gotta risk the downstairs. Uh oh. I'm gonna soften up this guy. Might have softened up with. Oh no! I'm lethally poisoned. I'm gonna have to try one of these potions. Am I. Oh. Am I still lethally poisoned? It was a curing though, so I just gotta kill this guy. Hey, am I no longer lethally poisoned because I leveled up? Hey! That was a nice level up. It saved me a curing potion. Okay. Uh, what's up the staircase? Quite a few things. I might just go back up. And bring this one downstairs. I don't think I can, uh, what? Why am I on the strap? Okay. I guess because I'm confused. Man, I'm having trouble against just a single orc wizard. I would have hoped I'd do a bit better than that, but okay. I'll... I guess not. Oh man, I did not kill this guy because I'm spending so long in a. In a web. Oh, there's a priest. Oh, there it is. Um, I gotta back up, actually. Does have a few chances to smite me, but I'm just gonna get my health back. Start the fight on full health, or close enough to. I do want to do, like, actually, I kind of do want to do another uh, Bjork run, just not with this character. Because, uh, again, having allies is not so good when you're shooting. 
Unless, uh, unless we all got changed or something, okay, it's the Phantom Mirror, like one later on. If you want the identifiers later on, all the stuff is gonna have to wait, because I'm saving up for that really awesome cloak, which, um, yeah, I don't have enough money for. Uh, so it's fine so far. Despite all that poison that I'm getting. But it's nice at least I have one cure in my back pocket in case I get lethally poisoned again. Uh. Oh. I gotta have to buy burst this guy. It's only a 50% chance of a fate to get though. Oh, really? Another one? It's gonna get through that door, so that, yeah, it can't open the door. Oh, I'm probably gonna keep my busting. There we go. I can finish that one off. Alright, so I need, oh, I probably just need more fighting, more ranged. Actually, am I any good with the evocation? I should get a little bit of that. I should just get, like, five of that, I think. Uh, it's got a dagger freezing, which should be fine. Yeah, it doesn't even get up to me because it's just a little cobalt. All right, is it going to be a temple down here? I think I'm deep enough in the dungeon to get one. Ooh, that's quite a lot of poison. I might just mind burst this guy. Man, I'm going through a lot of charges with that mind burst pretty quickly. But I'm needing them, so I guess I got to use them. Alright, where, where are the rest of these orcs? There's one of them. I don't think that my burst works with those jellies, because they get up to you and badly corrode you and stuff. Um, Because apparently they're mindless creatures. But that would be a problem before. Because Bonds of Acids also don't work on them, because they're... Uh, whatever they do. No, I'm pretty sure they're mute to the corrosion. Uh-oh. There we go. And there's something else that doesn't work on the jellies as well. Oh, roots doesn't work on the jellies. Yeah, so sometimes it's trying to finish them off with a wand when you're um, badly corroded up. Doesn't work quite as well as it could. Uh, probably gonna... Oh, paralysis. Hold up. You can probably paralyze this guy. Oh, come on. Please paralyze it. Oh, there we go. I was a bit worried there because I was getting low on health. Oh, it's not dead. Okay, another wand. Excellent. I should go check this one out. It's a wand of light. That's not bad. Ooh. It's quite a lot of guys. You know what? I might start with the wand of light. Just zap through a lot of those guys. Excellent. And it's under control. There was a little shield or something. A little buckler. Go 1.1 attack delay. I might just be able to put this one on. Let's see. 1.1 attack delay. Okay. Oh, I can't really start another skill just yet. And the shield has a good aptitude, so I'd like to start at some stage soon. Alright, dodge level 5 done. Good. Oh, not that. Uh, don't, don't take the escape badge. That'd be incredibly dangerous to just end up in the middle of the level or something. Also, not easy to get, like, inside of that guy. Uh, there's no quarry running around this level, which I'm not massively keen on, because I'm not sure I can kill that. Uh, this guy's trying to, try to confuse me. Would be great at all. Ooh. Uh. Oh, you're just auto pilot down a hatch and end up with snakes and three organs. Sounds miserable. Yeah, I mean, it could definitely happen, though. I think I've, uh, I think I have just, like, autopiloted down the hatch before. Um, don't think it's ended a disaster for me, though, but it's definitely something you're gonna watch out for. Uh, I might try and paralyze this guy. 50%, 60%, yeah, it's alright. Ah, but I gotta do it multiple times. Just too robust with the armor it's wearing. There we go. Wow, 
What are all those creatures? Uh, pop the door. Oh. Oh, why do they notice me? Are they all QRE'd up? Yeah, they are, okay. They can't slow me, but they can do a lot of poison that way. Um, man, okay. I gotta try to avoid those as best I can, I think. But they got a throat cutter, which is... That's also a long sword? Short sword? Might be a short sword. I feel like it is, because I think it's all about... Stabbing people. Mm, I gotta retreat back to a second, I think, so I can fight these gnolls one at a time. Actually, I don't think they're even really following me. Oh, maybe they are. I need supplementation blood? Probably not. I don't think I'll quite be able to get it radiate easily with this character either. Oh, that's a lot of poison. I gotta take this guy out with a... I take it out with a mind burst. Oh, 80%? There we go. And I know there's definitely still more of those. Uh, there we go. Another one of these brigands on the level. I gotta paralyze it before it gets me two poisons, I think. And I should be able to go pick myself up some curaris at least now. Um, to help me out against, I don't know, ogres, that sort of thing. Oh, you love using Mind Burst when following Gozek and the coins just scatter everywhere? Yeah, like, using all of the smart can be kind of fun as well, with managing to scatter coins everywhere. Uh, I don't know if there's too many other ways of scattering coins everywhere. Alright. Not sure about this, I'm going to stand here. There we go, got to find the one in time, but unfortunately I don't have them right next to me. Oh, not like the other guys are going to struggle with, but at least this character's got tons of wands. I feel like the wands have definitely been saving this character so many times. Uh, that doesn't have a curare, it does have poison though. Oh, okay. I try to get next to this archer. Ow, it's still doing a lot of damage to me. Hold up. Let's uh let's cure Rari it. Ooh, I missed. Oh no, 20 health. This is all looking great. Hey, that would hurt. Okay. I think the short bows are pretty similar to the plus one sling, but I guess I'll give it a try. Uh Kokurari the Black Bear, but it doesn't look like it's necessary. Actually, I think this job might be slightly better. I'm not sure. What is this guy? Probably got a Kurari dart. Everything does seem to around here. Uh... <laughs> yep, it's been highlighted. The color that would be there as a Kurari dart. All right, let's go down. Oh, this is questionable, but I gotta shout. Try and bring some of those whites back. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. They kind of woke them up, and now they're wandering the level, I guess. Uh, might still be better than being clumped just around the corner, though. Do I get any? I got a ring of wizardry, so I don't get. A, I don't have a lot of jewelry on me, but I do have something. Also, I should have the temple like right now. Basically, it's a dungeon level 7. This is the deepest you can find the temple. Although, it won't necessarily have Okawaru in, but it could be a good chance, I think. Oh, why does it stop short of the boots? I must have seen something. Oh, no, I opened the door. That would be it. Uh oh. Uh, I'll just try shooting the bee initially. But I've got some ones as backup. I don't think their willpower is huge. I could mind bust it. I like to use roots on bees, but I don't think I got roots this time round. Well, not yet anyway. Actually, uh... No, I don't have anything exclusive with it. I just don't have the roots. Because I think about closing the door, it means bees can't get to me. Because I know those can't open doors. Uh, I guess Kobo can let them in or something. 
Wait, it has a... Is that an oak bow? Short bow, that's a shame. It kind of would have been nice if it was an oak bow, because I, I could do it with one of those. Well, it's exclusive with roots, so I know the ice blasters. Uh, there's also a new... Oh, that killed it. A new, like, uh, warping mod or something? That's exclusive with it now? Um... Nah, no, this isn't working. You're gonna have to buy this dude. Oh, well. But the Warping 1 actually seems pretty good. Because you get to... Uh, well, it's, it's only a certain chance, but you get a sense of flying away from you, and it does a bit of damage, too. Is there no Okumar ruin here? Oh. No, it's one of the four gods I'm missing. Uh oh. I'll still go with you. Uh, I'll still go with Okawaru. But. Johnny might give me my god until I find Okawaru, I guess. I don't know if the aura will ever get big enough to really matter, but we'll give it a try. I know Warping 1 did a recent playthrough. Saved you once or twice? Yeah, I love the, love the Warping 1s. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This guy needs to be blinded, but I won't necessarily hurt. Oh, 70% is not terrible. I gotta adapt it again, I think, just to get rid of it, because it's absolutely slaughtering me. I definitely can't out out run a wyvern. Alright, let's go downstairs, wherever the staircase is. What are my skills doing right now? They're going alright. I might just get five shields. I just wondered if I get... Oh, hey, that got my party up. It's worried if I get, like, too many shields, uh, skill that Okamaru decided I would want one-handed weapons, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case with former suits, or is there, like, special case that, um, get given, like, extra two-handed weapons or something. All right. Because I know there used to be a problem with Conklin's constantly getting, uh, two-handed weapons. Because they had no shield skill. Um, I don't really need boomerangs. I'm not sure if that ever got changed or not. Oh, I might retreat back to this corridor, but I don't have a poison resist, do I? Oh, I do have protection I should be wearing. Because that works fairly well. Because if something doesn't get through your armor, it can't poison you up. Um, hmm. It's only 60% to head with this light, which is a bit of a worry. Oh, that's probably against the guy at the front, or is that the guy at the back? Because the guy at the front of edge got a better chance, hold up. Yeah, it's the guy at the front of the 60%. I'll try to paralyze it. 70% with the paralysis. Oh, come on. <laughs> Third time's the job, I guess, with the paralysis. That's 70% chances for you, don't always work. It might be fun to curve through the GitHub to see if there's a... Uh, case with Formicids? Right, yeah, it might be. I don't know, I've looked at the acquirement code before, and it's, uh, kind of a mess. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's one of the, definitely one of the gnarly parts of the code. You know, it could be worth, like, just checking if there's somehow an exception or not for Formicids. Um. I might just try and paralyze this guy. There we go. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get back to this choke point. Uh, these guys, do they all have pole arms? I might just go down another staircase anyway. Yeah, they, I think they do. Which means they're gonna... Ref Wait, that one moved next to me. Hold on, that's weird for the guy with the pole arm. I was gonna say they refused to move next to me, but it wasn't true of one of them. Oh, it's my nemesis, the ice beast. I do have some wands at least, although I didn't actually need much that time, I just died, thankfully. Uh, I think it's a little bit later in the game than where some of my previous characters met the Ice Beast. Ah, it's plus zero buckler, sure. I've already got one of those, so. Not gonna help me out. Uh oh. I'm gonna try to put on Divide Shield. Uh. Okay, got the beast grouped up. Oh, I should have identified some of my stuff. 
Oh, wow. I'll zap some of these with some light. Wait, that doesn't copy light. It's not doing the right shape. Uh. Mm hmm. Get more invocations. It seems to be actually doing a bit for me. But I'm not sure exactly what to get these guys with. I'll try the paralysis on the front guy. Alright. Oh, come on. 70%. There we go. Uh oh. How much damage can a bee do anyway? It does 10 damage plus poison. So it can do quite a bit when it does all the poison, but mainly poison, not physical. I don't divide shield again. I'll retreat. Can't get to the staircase, can I? I'll retreat back to up here, I think. Uh, again, oh, again, I probably... No, I can't do the poison scroll because I don't have the... Um, don't have the resist poison myself, so I would be able to move into a good spot. Okay. Get around of the paralysis for all these bees, unfortunately. Oh, come on. It doesn't help that they're resisting it as well. Uh oh. There's more stuff. Uh. All right. I'll put on my divide shield. I don't like this at all because I kind of trapped in here. There's even more bees than I'd like. What does this guy got? It's like got a plus four sphere. Man. Oh, really? A bee? I got a zap with light, but I missed. Uh oh. Whiff of venom. Um, I got a curing potion, but I don't have much else, which is a bit of a shame. Although, I think that's the last guy, thankfully. There we go. Got through all those guys. Uh, positive energy something? I'll put that on. It might tell him, stop white strain me or something. I don't think there's anything in this bolt of uh, draining at the moment. At least I certainly hope there's nothing that does bolt draining at the moment, because that would absolutely slot me, even with the one resist negative on. Oh, uh, three bees? Oh, that's the question. I might, uh, I might just chaff myself. Come on, don't drop too far. I think I just dropped the one level. Oh, really? No. That puts me straight back into the three Bs. All right. I can't dig this wall. Um, Two-headed ogre didn't notice me. Okay. Hmm. I wish I could kind of dig this wall. That would be really nice around now. Okay. Oh, I still haven't identified myself. Okay, but I'll still pop a poison. Uh. Just doesn't look cross to me and I can't really move right now, which is a bit of a problem. The ogre's poisoned and slowed, but it's also a two-handed ogre, isn't it? Ow. I'm actually going to cure that up a little bit, but I'm not sure it's going to do much. Oh, it's not like it's slowed. I'll try to slow it back down. Ooh, ouch. That's most of my health gone. Can I put it on a net at least? Ah, there it's gone. So I've only got like 18 health left or something. It's not a good situation. Uh, yeah, 50, no, I might get 16 range. I think that's a mid delay on the weapon I'm using right now. Oh, no. Um, if I put on a ring of fire, I protect from steam, and then if I cure already up the steam drake, which i probably going to miss, oh, there we go, I might stand a chance. got to get a few melee attacks on me, but at least I can just stand in the steam, right? Uh oh Well, I'm losing my divine piety, apparently, because I did all the divine shields and stuff earlier on, which got rid of some of it.
Oh, that's too much stuff. Okay. Don't want to go down that staircase in a hurry. I've also got to be careful when going upstairs as well. Uh, don't think I take this escape hatch. Oh, come on. I do have a poison scroll though, so I should identify myself, shouldn't I? Uh, he has me a few free attacks for the poison scroll. Yeah, it's basically going two of the bees for me. All right. I think these staircases were just fine, but I've got to identify my stuff. Okay, let's do this. There we go. I got uh Oh teleport scrolls. Torment scrolls. Heal wounds potions. Oh, those are good. Got some might. Which I don't think I need. Got brilliance, which I don't think I need. Do basically anything. Oh, blinking, of course. Oh, well, I guess I can drop the Blinky and the Teleport and the Haze, because those are going to never be useful as a form set. So how's my money gone? I can afford the cloak! I should go get that. That's going to be so much more damage. Like, my damage is 14 right now, it's going to go up to 19 just by putting on a cloak. And I get an armor class out of it as well. Well, actually, two armor class at least? Yeah, and a poison resist, and a resist electric. That's excellent. All right. There are the else I'm trying to buy. I mean, there's a, a big uh, shield I suppose I can get. Uh, don't, don't have to get that one just yet. I'm still training on my weapon skill, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. Right, so I got, a, got the polymorph. Oh, a lightning rod. There was a Phantom Mirror? No, yeah, Phantom Mirror that was for sale, but that's not going to be the most useful in Okawari, so maybe not. They're trying to go invisible on me, it's not going to work, because for one thing I can stay invisible, for another thing I get a little Shining Aura, so... Alright, what are these? Oh, that's a full-on troll. I think I try bring it upstairs. Just so I'm not fighting at the set. Oh, I think this actually does need a cure already, but still, I think this is fine. There we go. Oh, that guy's uh, gonna need a cure already because I'm not gonna be able to fight it normally. Uh, well, maybe if I did a lightning rod or something. Oh, is it Gravitamarine? I want to grab that one. That was really fun. Uh, you can, like, pull a group of creatures back away from you. Uh-oh. There's a well-guarded Gravitamarine. Uh... Oh, I'm a bit corroded. Uh, definitely gonna slow down this yak. There we go. I'm definitely looking for another staircase. Well, it seems like I'm kind of running out of staircases so they can go down. I'm glad that was just, uh, kobolds and not something a bit worse. Also, do I have to level 10? I gotta find Okawaru, right? Right? Strong. Shabriados. You're a dumb now. I mean, there's one god missing. <laughs> it's gotta be in here. There we go. Last god I found, though. That's kind of funny. Uh, but I'm gonna swap over. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the abilities unlocked just yet. Uh... What am I wearing? So just a basic robe, is it? I put on the draw leather robe, but I go check like for better robes, better leather armor. No, I think the troll leather robe is definitely the thing to wear at the moment. Uh... This working good. I'm out archering the enemy archer. Uh oh. Cyclops, this guy can't slow me, but I still think I want to fight these guys one at a time. Alright, not too bad actually. Uh 
This is actually not a bad spot for a shooting out a lightning rod. Whoops, ah, no, I shot into the wall. Ah, the, the targeting on this one's a little awkward, but that was kind of wasted the charge. Uh, this guy resists the electricity it is. Try to blind it with a bit of light. Oh, well, it did some damage, I guess. This ugly thing could definitely be going with a Curare. Oh, I might get it with a, uh, another Curare. Uh, if I can hit. 70% chance to hit. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm out of Curaris. Uh, Lightning Rod, I guess. Oh, also I got the Heroes of Unlocked, which I should, um, go get some invocation up to, I don't know, 5 or 6 or something. Just enough that I can get the Heroes of going. But that's an extra, quite a bit of skill. Uh, do I have Fire Resist? Got a Ring of Fire. I should probably put it on instead of uh, Positive Energy. You know what I might put on the Heroes of... Um... <laughs> Oh, okay. I got two Kyori dots and there's two guys here, so I guess uh one each. Oh, I lost my heroes. Am I gonna put it back on? Because this is looking kind of scary. Alright, so it's not too bad. Just a little bit of lightning actually did a lot of damage there. And now now I can maybe grab my gravitab marine. No, there's still more guys here stopping me getting it. Uh Alright, there we go. Got my Gravitab It was one of the most well-guarded items I've seen, though. Uh, I don't really have a choke point. I might be able to dig one, but I don't think I can. Oh, good. I got the... I got the... Um... Invocations. Wait, that ring has got Dex on it. Oh, it's probably still not worth it. But uh, Ring Bell would attack, slow my attack slightly, but it would actually be alright with Dex on it. The slow doesn't even matter, so maybe it's actually worth it. Hold up. I had the resist electrical already, but I gotta take a look at this. So if I put this on, I would gain 5 AC. Alright, that's fine. Um, uh, my attack delay is 0.9, 19 damage. Let's try it on. 0 0.9 with 21 damage. Actually, that's probably an improvement even with my damage. You know, obviously that uh, attack delay is horribly rounded, so it's really hard to tell how much difference it made with that one, but... Still, it seems definitely worth wearing. Alright, dungeon level 10 done. Do I just go to the... No, I can't just go to the lab. I've got to go to dungeon level 11. I don't have a choice yet. Uh, okay. It's a scene horror. It's not an unseen horror, this one. Not with my, uh... What are they called? Antennae. As far as that, not... These things haven't really noticed me, because they're quite close. And this has got to be the land with all these, like, elephants around. I don't think you just naturally find elephants running around in the dungeon. Yeah, I mean, this is the lair entrance, as expected. Uh... Piety's also building up reasonably fast, given that I, like, just got Okawaru. Uh, this guy needs a Kyorari. Oh, just close up the door. There we go. 
Uh, it's a dog, so it can't open the door, but, oh well, uh... I wonder if there's an orcish mines as well with all these orcs around. But, uh, Dungeon Level 11 is perfectly reasonable spot to be fighting the orcish mines. Hey, it is the orcish mines, alright. Uh, uh, good old teleport scroll. Um, do have fear though, which is really nice of Fobs, because if you can't run away, scaring all the enemies away can definitely be an option. I do have gloves, right? What am I missing? I'm missing an amulet. Okay. <laughs> do I have any? I don't think it's scared of the sword, uh, a good one for sale either. No. Oh. Uh, Kiara didn't quite last long enough. Hey, Dog Boy, that's got to be an improvement. So, 22 damage, 0.9 attack delay. 28 damage, 1 attack delay. Yeah, I think that's an improvement. Alright, Bold Vito, get slowed. When it rub how much damage does it actually do when it rolls in me? It's quite a bit. Up to 54 damage. Oh, yeah. Excellent, now we can go to the lair. What's there anything else? Oh, Press of Heat. That's what I don't have fire resistance. There's nothing I'm really saving up for. Maybe a couple of potions. Oh, maybe that's shield. I don't know. Heat. I can get fire resist. Well, a little bit of fire resist. So suppose it's something. I might also put on the heroes before I go down because I'm about to be... Well, is this, this guy can petrify me and stuff. I'm about to go next to this guy. Yeah, it didn't end up that bad, but it was a little bit scary. Ah, very distant. Um, hmm. well, I'm just gonna have to listen for it because I don't have any revelation scrolls on me. Well, not identified. I was just not like magma golems though. This not because I know sometimes there's fire areas there are. What is back up here? These guys can't like fly or anything. At least I hope they're not flying yaks because otherwise they'd be able to surround me. Uh, that's not working. Might soften it up with a little bit of electricity. There we go. Alright. Oh, very distant rumbling. Hey, is there no one? How goes the crawling? Well, I've killed quite a few formicids earlier on, but this one's not doing bad. Oh, is that a quick rumble? Oh, there's no way I make it to that. Yeah, so this one's looking very promising. What about you, how's the old day been? Oh. Uh, is that working out? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave that electric gear alive, I guess. I just tried to get somewhere I could see it, but there were so many plots around, it was not proving easy. I'm gonna buff up a little here. This Jeremiah about to come around that corner. Okay. If I step once forwards, now those butterflies can't stop me from killing Kim, except uh they kinda can. Whoops. Let's get rid of some of these butterflies as he comes around the corner. Why is it not targeting the butterflies? There's no reason I want to shoot myself. I don't think you can technically shoot yourself anymore. Wait, you know, what of warping? Alright, so that, uh, that shows what I'm going to get out of the ice blast warping and roots. Warping's not bad. I haven't played for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, apparently with the warpers, because they were really bad for a while. Apparently the, um... What's the new spell called? But the new spell's apparently been approved, so I'm not sure if it's uh, still terrible. Well, the waffles are good now. Wait, let's look at my ring of fire on? Okay. That's fine. Uh... Ah, I guess I'll leave the crystal blade armor outside. And it's handled in. Ooh. Two cyclopses. I'll try and, like, get them, split them up, but... 
not really happening. I might have had a curare them. Woohoo. Another one that managed to hit with its rock. I kind of worried there'll be like a hell knight or something in here. Um. Uh, okay, so it's forty percent on the finesse is not bad. I should get a little bit more skill though. Got plus two add you, so it shouldn't take too long. If it's just gargoyles, I'm fine, but I don't think it's just going to be gargoyles. Also, actually, maybe I'm not fine. There's one gargoyle here taking, but um, I'll just shoot it again. There we go. I do have some ones that can work on it at least. I don't think you've seen this volcano before. I've definitely had this one before. I just can't remember like exactly what's in it. But yeah, there's a number that aren't like massively fiery in theme. I see, like, you barely, rarely see volcanoes. Yeah, they certainly are a lot more rare than ice caves. Um, because I think there's less places they can spawn. Like, they can spawn the lair. I don't know. It's, there just aren't that many places at all that spawn these volcanoes. Oh, they're the hell knight in this one. Oh, I was worried it'd be one of those. Ah, I'm just gonna have to be maximally buffed. There we go. I mean, it's dead, but. Uh, how long until the buffs wear off? Oh, hey, it's an orb of fire as well. At least I don't have to fight the orb of fire. I think I found this era before with, uh, without the Hell Knight in it. At least I've definitely had a fire cave with orbs of fire before that didn't have, um, nothing too bad. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to pull this guy back a little bit. Hey, I got crushed to death by the Gravitambarine. That's so nice. Uh, not really need a great sword. Not need a potion of haste. Not really need a glaive. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> not really need the axe or the scale mail, but I guess they're there, right? I could grab them. Can I see both these orbs of fire at once? I sure can. Get out of here. There's nothing left for me to grab there. I mainly pulled out the demon trident because it might get me into a troll, but I don't know why I pulled out the other fiery weapons. Uh, I don't need the wizardry, I'm not. This might be the hex thing I haven't gone to the spellcasting with this character. Well, this could just be regular wolves. This is the lair after all. Yeah, I think they are. The other thing is that they could be with the grub or something, but... Now those are just regular old wolves. Are you curious why they make Volcano less common than Ice Caves to add more value to us? See, I'm not sure. I think it's probably... Well, it might be to do with the fact that you kind of got two different kinds of Ice, ice Caves, right? You've got the normal Ice Caves and the Hard Ice Caves. So I guess that just adds up to more places they can spawn. Maybe there's no such thing as a Hard Fire Cave or two decks and a flight. Sure. But I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, it probably wouldn't be too hard to add a tough fire cave. Or volcano, I mean. Alright, that's probably enough of those guys. I don't want to get the elephants pushing me around or something. And even, uh, so I'd not be able to teleport, I could be pushed around. Uh, hey, go guy, and some ads. Yup, this is... I don't know, I've tried a number of characters today, a number of ads, but this one's doing well at least. The uh, previous ones didn't do so well. They met some early game deaths. Good morning, good morning there, Gale Guy. What's the time? It's like 9 a.m., definitely still morning for me. Oh, what I got? Invisibility. Should I want to disappear? Ooh. I can't lignify, it's a shark, okay. I'm kind of tempted to hit it with some warping. Just uh, keep it back for me. Oh, it's kind of fast though. Oh, whoops. I said it was like, uh, I guess I'll warp it away again. There we go. Warped it to its death. 
don't know where his body landed. I don't think it dropped the body. Uh, I thought those new, like, piles of debris looked kind of funny. They always look like the... I don't know, it always look like they some sort of cave entrance or something. I always feel like I should be able to go in, but nope. Oh, whoops, I attacked it. Wait, they turn into... When they, like, wither up, they turn into a cloud of dust. Oh, yeah. I don't know, the fact that they wither away is kind of funny, given that they're just like a pile of rubble. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Well, this is okay. Yeah, I think I don't need to, like, cure Ari or anything. I don't need the throwing weapons. What I need to do is I need to max out my piety and then I can hopefully get a big treble crossbow. That's what the plan is. But I'm not sure if Okamaru's in on my plan or not. Oh, hey there, Hydra. Uh, I don't seem to have noticed me. I guess it's just wandering around on its own. Also got someone's ghost here. Rottle. Coughs girls. An octopus shapeshift. I feel like I've done well those. Um I feel like I did it back with like uh let's back up a little bit. Back when shapeshift is like really powerful as well. Oh I'm gonna buff up with a little bit of heroism. I don't trust that hydra also I might electrocute these guys. Hmm. Actually, you know what I can do? I can grab a tambourine, this guy. Doesn't need to be recharging massively fast, but give it a try. Alright, guy. Yeah, I mean, that kept it away from me for a few turns. Oh, I almost don't hit myself. What am I doing? Oh. Hey, the shot got teleported after it died. Alright. I gotta love how the cars just go flying off when you hit them with the warping. Uh, actually, a really nice choke point. I don't think I've got my regen anymore, which can be quite helpful in the choke points, but that's fine. Oh, what's wrong, Manu? I'm just trying to re curare this guy now that's no longer slowed. I can curare a uh, shark, right? Oh, <laughs> in theory. But that doesn't stop it biting up, so I might just zap some electricity through it. Because I kind of like the choke point of it. I don't want to get out of this, at least not for a little while. Uh... This is okay, but not perfect. But it's QRE out this last guy, which I failed at. I think I'll be fine here. Whoops. Oh, no. Didn't get his attention, but I gotta be really careful that snake. Which is a couple of these uh, blink frogs. This is fine. But there's a whole army of them I might uh, have to buff up or something. Oh, it's a Hydra. At least gotta put on heroism. Oh, I've probably gotta... I'm going to grab a tab read these guys. There we go. Crushed it a little bit. That did the trick. It was either that or putting on some more buffs, but I think the grab a tab read did a pretty good job. And I can't believe that some people got the, like, uh, effect, which I think was the gel's grab effect now, of the grab for tab read as, like, a spell they could cast. Like a third level spell or something. It was uh genies that got the spell level up, got to like keep it. Um I want these fruit, come on. Give me some fruit. Can I not eat fruit? There we go. I got a cherry moya. Uh -huh. It's funny how if you don't get the food the first time you can just keep on retrying to get some food. 
Not that it does anything, but it's still nice. See what kind of food there are. Oh, hey, I've got snake puts. That's nice. I like the snake puts. Also, what skills do I want? They're pretty decent, these skills. I might bring the ranged up to 18. Eventually, I'm going to have to get more. Uh, bring the fighting up to, I don't know, 16, but maybe a little bit higher. Invocation is fine for now. Well, I should eventually bring that up a little bit as well. How am I resist? I think I'm missing fire resist. I got the poison or electric resist for my cloak, though. Um, I'll probably be able to get the resist I need for the snake pits. What about the shoals? I do have the flight on one of my rigs, which is nice for the shoals. Although, with the rage characters, it's not quite as important to be able to fly. Now yeah, we'll see. I'm perfectly happy with the lab branches that I got this time round. Oh, yeah, that's the slime pits. Ooh. Ah, Mark, that's... A little bit of shame with all my staircases that are in the same spot, but... Ultimately, probably fine. All right. Okay, I've got to try and split these creatures up. I'm probably going to get mugged again because there's a love trap just sitting on the floor. I hate this. Uh, I had all this as a snail casually kiting around there, but I don't think I can do much against that one. Now nah, I just got to bring these guys upstairs. All right, excellent. Cleared out staircases. Nothing else seems to be coming along. Ooh, um, hold up. Ice dragon scales. Uh, what am I carrying around? I carry around all sorts of junk, can't I? Yes, it's very flight, wizardry. Oh, we've got decks. I got protection. Hold on, something's got to be better than this two decks flight ring. I mean, I've put all the proper decks, I think. Yeah, actually. Oh, I forgot the dodging, didn't I? As if you cared about the snail. Oh, that's true. I'm uh, I'm full of forms that I don't care about snails because they can't actually slow me. Man, I keep forgetting about that. All right, got some vulnerability and some attraction. Hmm. Do I have anything that at least works with the vulnerability? I got a little bit of paralysis, I guess. All right, next. Group of creatures. I'm a Mark's head. Oh, I love that title. I've probably been a Mark's head before. I'm not, actually not sure about title this time round. And there's probably something Oka related I can get if I need to. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's just move around to another staircase. Yeah, I've probably been a Marianne and a Mark's head almost certainly, but I can I can go ask the bots see which, exactly which ones I've had. Um, and yeah, I might just get. Do I just look at I just look at all my ants titles? Forms is F O right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh. There's a necromancy one. Ant of Prey. What is that? Might be a Trog one. Postage. Chief of Stuff is a Staff one. Barricade is a Shields one. Impregnable. Infernalist. Marian. So I've had the Archery one. The High Tier Archery one. But I've never had the Mark Sand, I don't think. Opulent. Shapeless. Which is a shape shifting one. Although it used to be a translocation one. Transmutation one, I mean. Uh, Teddy Tunnel is an, um, that's a translocation one that's specific to Formicids. All right. Oh. I don't think I can keep the, uh, Mark's head, though. Because that'd be up to 20.9 skill, I think. Which really isn't enough for a triple crossbow. But I could go with, like, uh, I could go with, like, an Antidobs or something. 
Oh, that's definitely an option. Oh. Eh, whatever. Let's make myself a joke point if these if I'm not gonna find one. This weapon's fairly effective, but I guess it's just an orc bow. Wait, 33 damage? My damage has definitely gone up. I mean, I guess my dex has gone up quite a bit, hasn't it? Uh... Oh, it's mined up already. Might have to grab a tab, read it back a bit. There we go. Alright, more dex, so I'm now on 34 damage. Yeah, it seems like every two days it'll give me about one damage. That's an alright trade off. Uh, oh, right, dodging. That's right. You know what? I might start dodging right now. Try to get 10. So I got 10 evasion. I'll see how much difference it makes. Because I got enough, um, enough evasion. It's going to make some difference. Not enough evasion. Enough dex. It's going to make some difference. In fact, I think my highest day, uh, evasion character ever might have been a former Uh,. Yeah, it was, uh, no, it was Demigod. No, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> they get the really high, uh, attributes. Demigod Hunter, which, of course, you can't be with, like, Chamber Angels or anything, but you can still get some pretty crazy evasion. 90, yeah, 90 was, a. Uh, how did they get that? I mean, I guess they just stack decks. Um... <laughs> It was also a 15 rune character, so I would have had uh, probably max out dodging skill. Intangible, I think that's even the dodging title that they had. I've had the, I think I've had intangible way too many times um, in terms of titles. Oh. That's high, just probably fine. There we go. Hey, come on. Come on, Okamari. You know you want to give me a weapon, a triple crossbow. Oh, it's not a triple crossbow. It's a plus eight heavy longbow with a bit of dex. I mean, that's something. I'll take it. Yeah, it's definitely something. All right, let's uh, check on his damage. Oh. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I might drop one of these rings of fire. I don't know. I was also a large attack of speed. Yeah, if I wanted to be a large attack character, which actually isn't too bad at all. 81 damage, 1.4 attack delay. So it's like half the attack speed. It's over double the damage. Ah, uh, you know, this is all right. Okay. I mean, if you think about it, like it's heading for 87 damage, 1.4 attack delay. It's kind of like a triple crossbow. Uh, how do we go? I got a great sword, which I don't think I care about. And I'm done with the lair, so I can go to dungeon 12, I think. Or the lair or wherever. So I got two identifiers. Got three potions of enlightenment. Nice. Three potions of lignification, which would have been more useful back when I was fighting the sky sharks, but all right. Gonna back up a bit here. It always is, uh... It's like we just gonna merge too much. Oh, armor as well. Right. <laughs> I lost my piety, so I was running around. So I can't check on what the armor is. I'm sure we'll be back. Uh... Ooh, gloves of war. Oh, there's plus... Well, all the slaying, uh, slaying ring mail, but that's probably not that important. But I think the gloves of war are, oh yeah, I got plus zero gloves. I gotta go with those gloves of war. Okay, well, Okumar is, uh, Okumar is uh, doing the trick with the armor. What about the ogre armor? Yep, definitely gotta get that one. These gloves of war are amazing, though. I want some of those. I mean, slaying's not the best with, like, a heavy weapon, but it's, uh, it still does the trick. All right, old gloves can go on the floor. Well, what's ah, misclicked? Got the wrong set of armor. That's all right. 
There we go. Good. Uh, 90 damage. Like to see that one. I have to have I can probably drop some of those scrolls or something. Uh, hold up. I need to take shields. That's probably one of the next things to get. There's a, oh, there's the kite shield. Longbow needs like 20 skill as well, right? So I can get a bit more skill if I wanted to use this. You know what? I might just get my skill to mid delay and then I'll think about getting a bigger shield. Did I do that correctly? I did. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that's the right order to get things in, but when you get close to your mid delay, it actually does make quite a big difference. Also, there's actually slotting everything in here, so I think getting into mid delay is a pretty good idea because it does attack quite slow. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of ogres. Um, how's my willpower? A little sad. Oh, well. What? There we go. You get into the wall. I might just buff up, actually. So I did have the max out willpower, but these are just not looking that bad. Oh, not the max out willpower, the max out piety. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that really wasn't that much of a problem. That was just uh, clubs everywhere on the ground after I got through this place. There's potential for fire, which I might need. Oh, do I have an amulet? There's a spirit guardian one there, which I'm not sure it's actually what I want now that I think about it. Um, ooh, regen fire resist. That's probably something I want. Reflection's also a right. Uh, there's also a willpower here. I don't know. Oh, there's a poison resist. I got the poison resist. Get that off my robe. Poison resist corrosion. I don't need to see invisible. That's not that useful. It's a slaying if I want to stack up more slaying. In fact, I think the slaying was just made a bit cheaper because they used to be super expensive and now they're actually kind of a reasonable price. Uh, there's a regen there, but there was a, there was a better thing here, right? Regen fire resist. I'll definitely grab that one. I probably never wear that scale mail. But I've done my fire cave already, but it's nice to get a one fire resist going. Um What are my rigs again? So I got the protection, I've got the dex. Is there another dex or something? I wouldn't mind another dex. I just helped out my evasion a little bit getting the dex. Uh but there's still a bet to go, I think, with the evasion. Oops. So we've got uh, Mars the Thief. That should be fine. Here's Aphemius of Light, which does unfortunately confuse me. It's Aphemius again. Okay, that maybe could be a problem. Oh, well. Uh, someone's shooting me with Obelisk. I think that's uh, so these guys here. Yeah. There we go, got rid of them, and don't need his cloak, so I think I'm all good there. So it's unusual to see a queen bee in the orcish mines, there's probably some sort of beehive in here. Yeah, there we go, that's the beehive, all the dead bears that have come to take the honey. Uh, where do I want to go now? I could go to Dungeon 13, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. How do I end up leaving all these slime creatures just casually outside here? Mm. Might just buff up a little bit, actually. I think these archers are doing quite a bit of damage. I don't know if there's Kirk around here as well, because of all the pigs. Right? Right? Maybe? I don't know, maybe Kirk just doesn't exist right now. I 
Uh, merging slightly doesn't matter with those slime creatures. I love how I just give them one hitting the uh, Sandor warriors. They can't hit me back. Oh, I got uh, freezing. Yeah. Rosy Cube is a refrigerator. That's a fun spell. But uh, apparently the, the other ice one got nerfed, whatever it's called. Um, the permafrost eruption. Which makes sense. It was bound to get a to get nerfed eventually. Here, yeah, Ken Rad, how's it going? How's your uh, stream this morning? What were you doing? I think it was game development, right? I noticed I noticed you were like streaming just before I started my stream. Well, this guy's got minus fire resist. Who are they? Oodle. I don't know, I don't know how you say the name. They're a spring and alchemist of the human. They must be wearing a ring of fire or something when they die, because they got cold resist, but minus fire resist. Oh, the Lua programming game in Ocamel, right. No, you mentioned that uh, before, but I mentioned that it was like Lua programming. Oh, you had a nice little milestone, so great. That's good. It was always good to make it some progress there. How's this character? This character's doing really well. Oh, uh, don't jump behind me, spider. No, they've got this heavy longbow, which seems to be doing fairly well for them. Um, got good piety. They seem to be killing things. No complaints here so far. Also, Okumaru gave me gloves of war. And I have this cloak here with some slag on it. So I got like plus 10 slag or something ridiculous. Uh, which is nice. Oh, marked. I'll try and go back to the staircase. Not sure if I'll make it or not, but I'll try. This dude's definitely a shapeshifter. It started without the repel missiles on. There's a 100% chance of a shapeshifter. Also, the dodging did fairly well, right? I only got like a little bit of this. Uh, I should get more. I should also get some shields. That cloak is awesome. Yeah, I saw it for sale. It was only like, uh, it wasn't even that expensive. It was like 420 gold or something. So I was like, yeah, I'll just grab that. It's not like I really need the intelligence that it reduces either. So no real downside to wearing it. Oh, I'll scroll something. Uh, I might keep it around for a little while, but I'll probably end up dropping it at some stage. Phalon Secrets of Damage. That's either a random book. Oh, it is. It's got Ishkandarin's Battle Sphere. Uh... These are tiny tomes, aren't they? Mercury Vapors, Gels Gravot. Yeah, it's Ooh Waif's Tiny Tomes. Ah. Uh, I think I just evolved, don't I, for this dude? The random vault guards, I don't know where the entrance of vaults is. Wait, that's a, that's a full Thunder Hulk. Do I resist the electric? I'll be fine. Ah, here's the entrance to vaults. All right. <laughs> what is this guy doing? It's just hiding around this corner. It was only a human anyway. It wasn't even like a prop vault guard like I thought it would be. Oh, right. All the things are not like guarding the vault entrance because they got, um, got marked and they all come running. So they're all over the level. Makes sense. Uh... One more level of dungeon, and then... Well, I should probably grab my shield to shield and go to the snake pits. And it's probably worth grabbing that little shield that's for sale. It's pretty cheap. No real downside to take yet. Uh-oh. I can get banished by this uh, cultist, couldn't I? 33%? I can reduce that with an enlightenment, but it's still not going to be perfect. 9%. I just gotta kill it. Oh, there we go. I mean, that was a nice hit. I hate it when you, like, drink the potion, get it down to a low percent, but get banished anyway. It always feels kind of sad. Like, I did everything I could, but uh, that was, it worked out well that time, at least. Uh, I really don't need the magic regen. I'm only using that for Okumaru abilities, and I seem to have plenty of magic points for those. Although Jogger just kind of went splat. I was expecting to need to buff up or something. Do I have any Sun Scrolls yet? No, I don't. Huh. I wouldn't bother a battle with someone like Jogger to go wrong. Uh, 
I gotta just put a little bit of hair on it's a bit of probably be fine without just see that there's quite a lot of stuff coming along here. Yeah, it was uh it was perfectly fine. So I can go to state pits, I think is where I was gonna wanting to go, and I've got all the oh that's not it. Got all the resist I need. I've got fire resist poison resist resist electric, which is can model enough resist. Also, this guy's got a shield for me. Uh this double chain is my best shield, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh I've currently got 7 shield value, 1.2 attack delay. 1.3 attack delay, right, 16 shield. It's probably worth it. I'm still getting more shield value, that will eventually get pretty good. Let's head to the state pits. What am I wearing? Because that's rogue resistance. I've got the dex armor. Plus three ring mail of six decks. Um, probably don't need the robe resistance on it here. I've kind of got the right resist already. So yeah, I think I'll just keep with the dex armor. Oh. Uh, I'm kill the guardian serpent. That's, and I might put on a little bit of buff, but it's probably fine without the guardian serpent. Alright, good. Azel's dead. Things are still managing to successfully get through my willpower, which is kind of a shame. Why do I not ever want to get any javelin skill? I mean, I'll think about it, but I don't think so. Ooh, okay. But a Sterian, so I need to buff up a thing for him. He's usually pretty bad, actually. I think I overestimated his abilities this time round, but it's better than underestimating his abilities. Oh, we got TF Fog. But I mean, it's fairly cheap just buffing up if I need to. Uh, once I actually dump my character sheet, I'll just try to look at what was for sale. It's still that willpower ring. Hmm. Oh, really? A love trap? I mean, I could just handle it, but I think I'm better off just going... Actually, I might be able to even dig around it if I wanted to. But, hey, I've got other staircases, so I don't have to do that right now. Chaos? Okay, it's a like Chaos Helper. Oh, plus 7 Chaos Helper. No, plus 9. It's actually quite dangerous. The Ghost has Visor Electro Lunge. Sticky Flame. Cold Slimination Blink. Are they a Whopper or something? Deep Elf Gladiator of Sif Mana. No wonder they've already got 94 health. 33 damage though? Uh. Hmm. I don't think they look that bad. Alright. I don't know if there's any stuff I need here. We just scroll poison. There's not really a lot of stuff. I should keep an eye out for shield, so that's a, a plus zero shield. But uh, there's a good chance I'll get a tower shield in here eventually. There's something at least. Because there's a form that I'm going to need a tower shield eventually. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Uh, no real reason for me to get statue form. I think I just came with a reasonably light armor. Uh, see how that goes. I don't have a resist corrosion. I need the magic power, okay, that's easy enough to pick up. Don't need the teleport out. Apparently the teleport out got a little buff, so... I think it was to do with, like, how far it teleported things, so they can't just get teleported next to you or something. It was something like that. And I kind of, kind of needed it. It was a uh, never very good spell, and I've used it before, but I've never really liked using it. Uh, oh, where's Azel's like guards? So oh, well, I'll put on the um, finesse. I just kill him really quick. There they are. The problem is nothing. I had no enemies next to me, so he could hit me with the damnation. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Donald as well. Doesn't seem too bad at all when I got the finesse on. Uh, that's plus two shield. I'll take it. Oh, whoops. I got a... 
I probably don't need that pulse of energy. Wait, where did the where did the snakes go? I know they were definitely here a moment ago. There's little snakes. All right. I wonder if they get bashed the other side round. I mean, she probably won't have a super excellent weapon or anything. I think my best chance of getting a triple crossbow would be the bolts for this character. But this weapon, if I had to go with this weapon for the rest of the game, I mean, that's perfectly fine. It will do the trick. Uh, oh, I've got minus poison resist. I might at least put a little bit of heroism. Oh, it didn't look like there was many guys left in it. Hey, the way team, my level's doing well, because I've only, uh, well, I've still got one more level to go here of the, uh, snake pits. Eh, yeah, fine, whatever, I'll dig. Might as well connect my level up, so I've got all three snake as I can go down instead of just the one. This looks like a lot like the boss chambers. Oh, not the boss chambers, the rune chambers. I don't think there's usually a boss. Um, usually there's a swarm of creatures. Where is everyone? I'm detecting creatures. Shields are doing well, but I should probably just get more. Uh, as well as a little bit more dodging, I guess. Yeah, just try and... Uh, actually, I might get some more fighting. Just try and bring my defense up a little bit. Uh, although I've also got the... Got the um, jewel to get going, don't I? Yeah, well, I can wait, I guess. That looks an awful lot like a gem. Also, I guess it kind of is a boss. It's a quick tail with dragon. Surprised that's still alive, that gem. I mean, it's probably going to shatter on the way out, right? But I... I haven't been going for the gem. I've been fully exploring the levels and everything. Alright. I might not get a message from the shadows because I don't think I've got the more gem info on or anything. Wait, there's no way I'm not out of time on here. I mean, I do have a regen on, which helps. I don't know. Can't take myself a choke point. I'll just shoot these guys down. I just wanted to think if I could get a choke point, but no. Uh... I kind of wonder if like, this uh, gem didn't just forget to time out or something. Because apparently the, uh, I've had shadow gems before just lying on the floor, but I was definitely out of time. And those were meant to have shattered, apparently. Oh, there is a Death Talisman here. It'd be worth getting at some stage. Anything else I want to get? I kind of just want to get that other Dax. Is that my... Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, hold up. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's get it. So I've got 21 Evasion. Where is it? Uh, 19 AC. I'll definitely lose a bit of AC. Oh, yeah, and I've also got uh, 93 damage, which is going to go up with this one on. I get two evades, and I lose four armor class, but I go up to 100 damage. I kind of want to be on 100 damage. Sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, Chant armor sounds good. Uh, Brad with maybe eventually get the charm with, but I'm not sure. I guess I get it. Alright, there's uh, some identifiers here. I could use them. Uh, I don't know, I maybe want the face, but I don't need it right now. You know what, let's get the identifiers. Let's go identify a couple of the potions. Although this is a scroll shop, alright. A magic. Oh, I've got plenty of scrolls I can drop. I've got a uh, cancellation. I can drop, where was it? 
summoning, torment, noise, and oh, not my ability, amnesia. All of those ones aren't that important. Uh, I don't want to get into trouble, but I should probably just like dump those on my shopping list or something. I only need one of these identifiers, right? Oh. I think that's all the items I got to identify. Oh yeah, mutation. Shame is only one of those. Hopefully I can't get that uh, lich form going or something protect me from mutations. Alright, where do I want to go? How's my gem god? Weirdly still okay. Now that does not seem right. There's no way I spent less than uh, 600 turns per level there. That seems like highly questionable. I don't, uh, I can't remember the command to see how many turns you spend in a branch. I know there is one. Since what would it be? It would be. Uh. Uh, it would be it'd be like branch dot enter or something equals snake and I could get one for the end, although it might not be snake, it might be Okay, no that's telling me the turn that I entered. And I've exited. And then I can I can get the turn when I exited right. And I can just subtract those two things because this has got to be too many turns. Uh. And I didn't leave like part way through. At least I don't think so. Okay. So now I can get these two turn counts. Uh. How many turns should I have to do the uh, snake puts? I did all oh, 3,900 turns. Hold up. That might actually be. What's 4 times 600? Hold on. That might actually be allowed. No, I think it's got slightly more turns. 4,300? That's. Because uh, I know one of the branches gives more time, right? The Azure one, the Charles one gives less, but it might actually be 3,600 or something ridiculous that it gives you. Maybe it just gives you a long time, I guess. Okay, uh, let's, go to, let's go to the Shoals. Oh, it might be 3,200. No, I know there's one of them that definitely gives you a lot of turns to do. Can't remember exactly how many. I think I might have just somehow done it in time while fully exploring all the levels. This is okay, but I'll kill the dream sheep. There we go. I'm gonna buff up here because I don't like how uh this guy's got a net. Okay, I might kill the guy with a net. Uh maybe. <laughs> Those guys repelling themselves, but it's still like 60% chance ahead. I feel like those uh, wind rates kind of missed out and uh, changed to how the repel missiles works. Oh, there's a tower shield. I don't know if I actually got one of those in the uh, snake pits. Although she has a, like 30% chance of banishing me, which is not good. I got a definitely got a lighten. She's still gonna have like 10% or something. Oh, what's this floor? Sims then. Alright. I'll put on a bit of heroism. Of... No finesse. I mean, just shoot her down. That's mainly just so I kill her quicker. So that she doesn't banish me. Alright. Well, I've got my tower shield, which is good. Ooh, there's gloves of gadgeteering. No, I can't use those. I got the got the gloves of war, which are way better. There's tremor stones. There's warping. All sorts of things to save up for, but... Nothing I need in a hurry there. Ooh, hey, Nicole. I got gloves of fusion. They plus one gloves. I got the gloves of war. Why is he not telling me about his cloak? He always has a cloak, right? A plus zero cloak, right. Do 
I think he had tried to a few things. I heard three things shouting after he cast his lightning spell. All right, first of all, the shawls was pretty trivial. I mean, they had a lot of uniques, but they just didn't stand a chance against all the slaying that they seem to have got, I guess. Uh, so this character, I think, is mainly going to worry about things like paralysis and stuff. They don't want to get paralyzed and just die. That would be a tragic end to this character. They had a, have had a character die that way recently, unfortunately. I think I got up to dance as a warper or something, and then... Got paralyzed and died. I even drank like a potion of uh, willpower, but that didn't do the trick. Uh, I finesse up. Okay. Can't really take out the sheep very well with all the zombies around. Uh. You know, without things that currently go, with my current weapon, I can totally go for the Markzad title. It might not be a bad idea. Just get along my skills to like 20 or something. Um, but if I find a triple crossbow, I'll just get another Okumaru title, I guess. Yeah, the sharks are so much less scary when I first saw them. When I was first saw them, it was like, uh, they'd always get up to me and they'd go berserk if I didn't get them with, uh, like a wand of warping or the like, grab tambourine or something. Now they just kind of die. I just usually like that, I think. Oh, what's this guy got? He's got something. Just some javelins? Eh, that's probably part of those lad in the water. Hey, you three. Oh, I just move up to her. There we go. So I can't get my attacks against it blocked or anything. Uh... Nets are definitely still dangerous for this character. It's a... Well, they make it so I can't move for a while. Can't go back up the staircase if I need to. They're always really bad. And I think they get rid of my shield value, which is one of my major defenses. And half my evasion? Hold up. Is it too late for a scroll of poison? I might do one anyway. There we go. Because I got tons of those scroll of poison. There's like eight of them left or something. Oh, it's a holy ending. These could be some of the tough ones. Although I've done one of these recently and had it not be too bad. Uh, I might still just buff up before I go out see what there is. Actually, that was not too bad. Alright, still looking pretty healthy. Alright, so got all the good god oldest, like god a level in this one. It should be another one of a shiny one, another one of Zen, I'd imagine. Oh yeah, it's all the Apis guys. Actually I'm not sure how they meant to be said. Are they an API? The Apis, I don't know. Wait, isn't there like a little bot command for that or something? Hold on. That? No, it's not that one. Uh, oh, Aphis, right. I forgot the S at the end. Yeah, it, what's it say? It's basically a life yak at a 0 0.8. And honestly, I thought you we'd removed it by now. Nope, definitely not. Wait, what's a... There's another one. It's not that one it's looking for. It must be page 2 or something. Our prize was 0 0.14. They always gave weakness when killed. Between 0 0.13 and 0 0.1. Ellie healed enemies when you killed an Aphis. Huh. They had halos in some state. I don't know. It sounds like they've been changed a lot. But that's not the, not the page I'm looking for. Plural is just Aphis as well. Well, good to know, I guess. It's not like Aphis or something. Uh, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Was, uh, 
ABS packs in. How am I fighting APIs? This is like my real job. Yeah, I'm just like being a uh, programmer <laughs> fighting APIs, right? All right, let's, uh, let's grab this potion. Oh, I don't have it identified. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Ah, Berserk Rage. I am new to uh, Berserk anyway, as a pharmacist, I think. Okay, so the potion was grayed out, so I got to preserve I'm completely immune to it. Hey, the rune. Got it by the shining one. I actually did worship Shining One for a little while as this character. Minus fire and minus gold in this robe of the Enchanted Forest. I mean, it gives intelligence, but that's a pretty sad robe. You have to have something really good with the resist to make up for it. I don't need a buckler of resist resilience. It's like the very budget version of a shield of resistance, I think. Do you want it to be less protective and only come with cold resist? Here's your shield of resilience. Oh, that's just a logbook. All right. Got a staff of dim light, the summoning fire ice. That's a lot of schools to it. I don't know if I found a summoning staff or the summoner yet. I've seen a few of them around though. Alright, let's go to let's go to vaults. Um hold up. Okay. Uh let me just delete the shield because I got a better one. Delete the identifies. Probably don't need to worry about the Phantom Mirror. I don't think I'm worried about the Slag because I got the Dex. Uh. Hmm. So there's Resist Cold on like a uh, Robo Resistance. Why am I carrying a lot of the worst Robo Resistance? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Got like a Ring of Ice as well, but the sub said I need, might need to get some Cold Resistance here. When the walls be frozen, but we see how it is without. But yeah, definitely thinking about that. Ooh. I put a little bit of finesse. There's kind of a lot of guys here. What's this guy have? Does it have distortion or something? Because when it swapped away from its melee weapon, it no longer had the background. So it's going to have some sort of bad melee weapon. Let's see what it was. Body protection? That's not it. Yeah, it was brought next to distortion. But it was never going to matter because it was just going to be shooting at me with its rage weapon anyway. Uh, right. Might, because I have no willpower, but I'll just get back to, like, this corridor. <laughs> Might again, because I have no willpower. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a bit like being a quasi worshiper in here. All the times are going to get marked. I have a mark scent, after all. It's not quite as uh, silly as the elf one of a mark self. Man, I think unfortunately I didn't manage to get that one on uh, Quasol because that would have been really appropriate. Oh, so Char Charlatan Orb. Nah, I want my shield. That, one's, that sounds kind of bad, the Charlatan Orb. Although, wait, hold on. The slow teleports would actually not matter for this character, would they? Because I'm a Formicid, but unfortunately, as a Formicid, I also want to use a big shield. In fact, I might want to use a bigger shield. Uh... A 23 shield skill, 1.2 attack delay. Oh, not 23 shield skills, 23, uh, 1.3 attack delay. Again, 6 shield value? Ah, that's okay. Yeah, I'll drop my old shield. So I'm starting to think about enchanting this shield. I've got 3 enchant armors. I don't really have any much of the way boots. I. Do the guys in the vaults say occasionally have shields? Oh, definitely tempting just to chart the shield up as much as they can, try and get it really protective. Ooh, there's a wind. I might be able to do that. Oh, you know what I will chart the shield. Let's do it. All right. Uh, draw the protection. All right. I dropped the flame. Drop the torment. Drop the amnesia. I've got plenty of inventory room now. There's a little mite or something. There it is. 
Probably not related to magic or brilliance or anything either. Do I have a... I do wait. Got a revelations. Excellent. So it's... Oh, it's definitely up there. <laughs> Judged by the wolves around this place. I gotta say, there's like two places that can be, but look at that wall. There's only one place it can be. Oh, marked. Yeah, I'll just wait around. No, I'll just keep moving. At least there's not too many places to pull in enemies, so it's something. Alright, well... I want the mark to wear off before I go in here. Let's go in. Put on some buffs. Alright. I'm gonna get as much out of these buffs as possible. Oh, they're already gone. So there's a core resist ring right there. Got a couple of decks on, but at least it gives me some way of getting cold resist when I get back out of the vaults. I'm pretty sure I don't need the cold resist in here, though. Oh, another cold resist ring? Sure. How much inventory did I leave? I got four spades, so I went in here with six. That's not too bad. Let me rest up, alright. Kind of go around the outside because that's usually the uh, best way of doing this. I'm just going to put a little bit of finesse because I don't trust these guys not to cause problems. But having really high damage is always really nice in the Death Solution Assault because it stops you getting completely surrounded by creatures. Like you tend to if your damage isn't so good. So yeah, having the fin uh, finesse on right now is quite important, I think. Oh, it's gone. And that adds well to my already naturally fairly high damage. Ooh, there's an octopus king ring, isn't it? Kind of looks like one. There's also a manual, which could be good. Fighting? Yeah, fighting's always good. Uh, it's an octopus king ring of flight. What's my flight one do? Two dags. And it's got like two evasion, two AC, two hit points, and two shield. Oh, dags are not bad, though. Uh... Uh, the even more artifact rings is strength, unfortunately. I probably won't need a strength ring. What's my strength? 11? Yeah, it should be fine. But I plan to stick with light up. I mean, it would help with the shield penalty, but I probably won't have too much shield penalty because I just get the shield skill nice and high, and that gets rid of the shield penalty. A sling of speed? Nope. I mean... It'll do something, but it's not going to do as much as my heavy longbow here does. Think of delays. How's my attack delay? 1.3 still. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get a sub 1 attack delay. Am I with a longbow? No, definitely not when it's heavy. All right, get the dex. Oh, we got an extra evasion. We're up to 106 damage, which is what I like to see. Get back up a bit and put on the finesse. Yup, that's what I was worried about, one of these guys. There it goes, gone. But it did get me with its uh, torment before it died. Do I need a sphere of battle, really? I mean, I can pick it up anyway. I don't know. I've already picked up the wrong thing. Um, I don't really need an end strength ring. Oh, I definitely don't need an ice ring, though, so... I can pull it out of here if I want to add it to my unread art collection or something. Go, ooh, gloves and decks. Oh, maybe not. Nah, I'd rather feel better anyway. Uh, probably not. So, I lose a couple of armor class, right? Uh, which makes sense. But more importantly, I lose my five slang, which I don't think like three decks can make up for. Uh, so, I have reason to keep that robe on me. I've got a better one somewhere. Yeah, I can pretty much go anywhere now because I've kind of done around the outside already. Alright, there we go. Death Solution Assault done. But that the Death Solution Assault is really usually really bad, but then if you got high damage, you just go through it. So 
It's kind of kind of a bit mixed. Let's get out of here though. Uh, do I want the? I don't really need the Dex. That's right. That fly could probably go. Get the cold with this one instead. Probably don't need the edge. Uh, don't really need the strads. All right, that'll do. Um, I'll get my dodging to 20, but this is looking like a- oh wait, hold on. Invocations needs to get up to like 20 as well. This is looking like I'm gonna need to get some new skills soon. Uh... I have 40 to the invocations. Try to get the Gravitamarine powered up or something. Not sure how well it scales with invocations, but it's gotta scale to some extent. Well, I think all the, uh, Misky vocables are meant to. Oh. I think this character doesn't have any problems with trolls, because I've heard uh, plenty of characters previously have problems with trolls. I mean, generally, shield characters aren't that good against trolls, but I guess, I guess my other physical defense aren't too bad. Like, I've still got 30 evasion and stuff. Uh... I don't generally say this character's defense are really good, which is what you generally want to get with a form of not being able to teleport out and stuff. You want to try and, uh... Yeah, buff those up as high as possible. In fact, it's really nice being with Okawaru, because if I get myself into a really bad situation, I can just kind of put on the finesse and then do a bunch of damage. And then with my high defenses, if I can't get myself out of that, then um, <laughs> that's pretty unlikely. It's like, oh, there's a bunch of dead lindworms. Looks like they've been uh, skinned for some meat here. Oh, come on. Give me some meat. A yak sausage. All right. Doesn't quite line up with the, the items outside, but that's fine. Uh, I'll get a resistance. Well, definitely a mutation. Here wounds. I think I've got plenty of curing. Let me just check on that one, though. Yeah, curing's on 16. I don't think I'm going to run short of that unless... No, I don't even have, like, the spider nest or something. Down my lab rancher, so I just think I'm just not going to run short on that one. That's fine. No need to even buff up. That's just completely fine. Let's go down another level. It almost looks like a, I don't know, Christmas tree or something with these stacked up arrows. At the top doesn't look quite right. Oh, what's what are we doing? I just want to go down. A oh, level generation can sometimes look a little funny, but usually it's just a, a maze of corridors. Ooh. Kill the Guardian Mummy. Let's see what this wants. Wants me to give it slimy rune to function? Well, don't have to give it over. Just had to show the slimy rune. Uh. Mm. <laughs> I mean, my resist aren't great for that right now, but if I get the right resist, sure, I'll go for a slimy rune. You know, it would be a bad idea getting a death talisman on this character. I mean, I mean, I couldn't use healing potions anymore, but I would be able to... Uh, I would get some cold resist, get some willpower, both things that I desperately need. And also get immunity to mutations, which would be kind of nice. Alright, what do I need? Resistance is fine. Heal wounds is fine. Cancellation is fine. Don't think I need the brilliance. Uh... I can't really need the lignification. How good is it add to shapeshifting? Uh, zero skill? I kind of really tempted at that. Oh. That's scary. Uh. Can't really flight? Okay. At least these guys are next to me so I can shoot them. Good. That's what I'm talking about, though, with, like, uh, if I get into a really bad situation and not be able to teleport it out, at least I can usually buff my way out of it with Okawaru. I think that finesse did help quite a bit. Alright, well, downstairs I go. Uh, can I get 
the hell? I got two willpower. I think there was like a rig of willpower for sale. So I could potentially get myself a third willpower. Oh, this doesn't look the best. I might just buff up a little bit. Uh, just thinking, like, if I want to go to the Elven Halls, I might just do the depth before the Elven Halls. That's probably the easier way to do that. If I'm not going to get the willpower. Yeah, how's these going? These skills are going just fine. Unfortunately, doesn't need 21, 25. Wait, how much skill does the death talisman need? Uh... I just execution of tags uh, match death. I mean, that's fair enough. Sanguin gem? Okay. I don't get why half these things match the one death. But anyway, let's look at this one. 23 skill. Which if I'm stopping at 20.9 skill, I could get the death talisman. Uh, I might just go with more skill and not go with the mark sand title. That's always the problem with these problems. It's like they got good aptitude, so I never end up with the mark sand. <laughs> Title, which is probably fine. Oh. But yeah, I've definitely got some Okumaru titles left to go, so I'll be fine. Uh, I've got a positive attitude on the whole invocation thing, so getting an invocation is that uh, title, no problems. Alright, I'm still, what am I missing? Like, oh, brand weapons? That's easy enough to get. This is even one of those for sale that I could go buy if I wanted to identify it, but I haven't found a true crossbow, so I haven't been worrying about it too much. I know I'll check range, but I doubt there's any true crossbows around. There's a lot of slings, a lot of oak bows, just, uh, just your regular old stuff. I think this longbow actually gives a bit of dex, which makes it pretty decent. I don't know if it's quite as good as a... Uh, actually, it actually does make it pretty good. It's like... It's almost like having a brand on in terms of damage, just adding a bit of dex. Alright, uh, still nothing to identify. <laughs> I don't want to go down yet. That would probably be a bad idea. I will go do the depths. I got no coal resistance. is kind of what I'm worried about. I mean, I can still, like, put a ring on if I need to. Uh... What's my chance of hitting this guy? Oh, 50%. That's way better than I thought. Okay. Only partly fake damage. Yeah, there was actually a decent amount of real, I think, core damage in there. Alright, do the shield, get a plus four with the amulet. It's magic regen with a fire resist and two core resist. I mean, I like my um whole regen one, but I think I'm going to get myself a little bit of core resist. But that is actually fairly important to the depths. Um... We'll see if I regret taking off the regen or not, but so far it seems fine. Oh, it's plotted the way still. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any spells I want to get or something. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe some dispersal or something, but not right now. Fake gold dragon. I don't even need its armor, but it uh, drop off a hold up. This guy can totally, uh, petrify me. Doesn't have nothing out right now, but I might just buff up a little bit. There we go. Got rid of it nice and quick. Well, those are the things that target willpower. I kind of went here because I thought, oh, this will avoid me having to, well, avoid things targeting my willpower, but I was wrong. Alright, gotta almost max out my shield, which is nice. I think it's plus seven now. I can get up to plus eight. I 
I saw these go on dragons. Uh, now that with the armor though, I've had two of them without armor. So I think the chance of them dropping armor turned out to be like one third or something. So, yeah, you can definitely find a number of them without getting any suit of armor. Kinda tempted to go try doing Santa with this character. It's always a little sketchy as a pharmacist, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, it's kind of hard the reason why I want to get that Death Talisman going, but I haven't got there yet. You know what, I might try and get that Death Talisman going right now. Where is it? Uh... Wait, 24 scale? That's not what I need. Hold on, it was 23, right? There we go. No triple crossbows, okay. Well, that's a pretty useless job then. Oh, hey, Boris. Um, you can't get to me. Can I get out of his the destruction range? Kind of, I need to, I think. Okay. If he moves right up, then it'll be pretty hard to get out of his range, but he's dead anyway, so. And a pretty bad rope this time around. Minus fire resist. I mean, that's the opposite of what I need. I still need a bit more fire resist. I have one fire resist, so I'm not bad with my fire resist. Right here, definitely need a fear. I'll get some fog. Sure, I'll wind up some emulation. Oh, even more emulation? I mean, I've got one fire resist. I should start blowing some creatures up or something. Uh, I don't think I need the wounds. I've actually got plenty of that. I maybe need the mutation. Oh, I'm not convinced I need those potions right now. Oh, wait, there's an ambrosia. That could be good. Uh, how many ambrosia do I have? Six. Okay, I'll be five for now. I just wanted to have at least like two or three of those ones on me. That way, if I jewel something, I don't think I've had to jewel right now, but if I do have to jewel something, I'll be able to teal off afterwards with the Ambrosia potions. Especially since I don't have any health regen anymore because I swapped it out for the cold resist. Yeah, so many shiny one orders this time around. It's kind of crazy because I got, I got one in the temple. I got. I'm sure I got more than that. Uh, I just search for one. Does it give me the shiny one? No. That's a shame. Yeah, it was like Temple, Depths 2, and Shoals 4, right? Because we had the holy ending to the Shoals. That's right. Do I need the cloak? Do I need the... Uh, no, I think I'll need the cross scale mail. I kind of just got like armor of cold resist on right now. Which... I don't know how important that one is. Probably not that important. I think I can do this castle. Hold on, I've got the... Got flight somewhere. Got multiple sorts of flight. Got flight coverage this one. Uh, where's my decks? Although I could probably drop uh, invasion. That's not going to be quite as good as the decks anymore. So what's the theme of this castle anyway? I'm seeing a number of giants. I really think that I don't know. It's just kind of an assortment of creatures, springings, everything. Tanju's trolls, yeah, it's just a just an assortment of creatures. I don't think it's got a theme to it. I want a willpower, uh, they just got one, apparently. Wait, did I not pick it up? Oh, no, I did pick it up, okay. It could be a, it could be an idea of the Elven Horse, um, the other option is just to get, like, tough enough so I don't care about being banished, which I feel like I'm getting pretty close to that point right now. It's a level 23 character. Alright, two more levels of the depths that I should be done here.
And then I should be able to go, I don't know. I've actually got cold resist now. So I might be able to go and do the slime pets. Go get myself the rune and then I can get into my treasure trove. That's not a bad idea. But I reckon I should probably do Vault 5 as well. Uh, how's that talisman going? Oh, not there yet. I kind of want the talisman for the slime pits because it'd be really helpful. Um, can I even portal projectile this guy? Don't know if I can dig a fence. I can definitely... Ooh, Stombo. I can definitely dig walls. Hold on. What's this do? 67 damage point, 9 attack delay. Um, 1.3 attack delay, right. 100 damage, 106 damage. Down to penetration, it's interesting. The two added weapon. Uh, how is this worth it or not? Oh, there's some decks as well. I'll give it a try. I'll definitely shoot a bit faster. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem that bad. Oh, I'm not hitting this guy, am I? Yeah, it's still 30%. Alright, it also ignores shields. It's definitely competitive with what I had before. Yeah, let's finish those cardinals. The cardinals is uh, obviously the superior weapon. Um, what's up here? All oh, right, there's uh, the guy that can't actually shoot because it's behind the bars. Actually, do I have a digging? I got four digging. Could just dig it out because they got my natural digging. Oh, hey, they're Pajit. I got a buff. Because if I'm not doing good damage, he's not going to die. Oh, there we go. Although, actually, I probably would be better off using my other weapon to damage him. It doesn't matter, he died anyway. Yeah, quite a lot of use out of this finesse, I think. Alright, so I got the end of the but I'm going to go with my two runes. I always feel like there does need to be some way of getting into Zod with less runes, but I don't know. So you can have a zero rune victory or something for the fun of it, but I don't know what a balanced way of doing that would be. Uh, Say, so yeah, generally you probably wouldn't do a third rune if you didn't have to to get into Zod or something. Alright, where do I want to go? I want to go to... Why does that to the open halls? I reckon I could survive being banished. Still, still no branding. Doesn't matter. This way is not in need of branding either. Do I actually have a resist negative? I don't think I did because I took that off. So I don't feel like I'm losing half my health when I get so bad. I guess I am. Oh, I don't quite feel like it. I suppose I like... No, I don't really regen, so I gotta just regen a bit back. I don't know. Alright, anyway, we've got... Oh, Manifold Salt. I haven't got that Cosmo since uh, it got changed to a 7th level spell. I want to get a Cosmo in some character, but I'm not sure what sort of character to go with. I think it was like some sort of uh, shape shift or something. Oh, it's a Necronomicon. I don't need that anymore. That's what it used to have the Lich form in it. And now it's its own separate talisman. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like doing some kind of shape shifter, but I think I did a lot of the good shape shifters, like Oddies and stuff. Already. That was probably something alright left. I just want to get like a big beefy form. And then try and get the manifold salt going afterwards. Because sure it would hit less targets. But it could probably still hit a lot of stuff.
Did you do a demigod shifter yet? Oh, that's a good question. Let's go check on that one. Demigod. Oh, I have. Wow, it took like 10 games as well, apparently. It wasn't an easy win. Uh... Long blades? That's not that useful. I mean, they could have been a path to uh, success for those characters long blades, but didn't do it. But I think I even found a triple sword, um, but it was quite late on. I definitely thought about it when I saw like Crystal Plate Armor early on, but I was like, nah, I don't have enough strength for that. Wait, was that a different character? Was this the one with Crystal Plate Armor? Uh... Oh, that's no, too. Yeah, the one that I found like on Dungeon Level 1 or 2 or something. <laughs> I think on Dungeon Level 2. Yeah, I want to check what James Jones I have been again. So I've been... Or which ones I haven't been. I've been an Arbitor Shifter. I don't know if that would be really good. Kongles aren't going to bad because you couldn't dual wield anymore. Try a deep elf. That sounds really fragile. Oh, Demon Spot's not bad. I don't have Fobbison yet. Oh, interesting. Hello, Human. Kobold. Mountain Dwarf. I can try a Mountain Dwarf. You know, Mountain Dwarf's not a bad option out of those choices. Uh, your less encumbered by armor wouldn't matter as much, because I think there's only body armor. Doesn't apply, like, shields to the statue form again or something. Oh, Felix Shifter? I got it done to Felix Shifter, right? I feel like it's one of the first Felix I did. Uh... Yeah. Felix Shifter's been done. But I reckon I want to try a Mountain Dwarf one, see if that's any good, because I feel like they got the adaptions for it. And see if I can get the Manifold Assault going. I'm not sure they have to use for that. That's the only thing. Oh, I'm not going to get a uh, triple crossbow from here. Not from the Hall of Blades. Because triple crossbow is not bladed. Although that flail's not bladed. What's that doing in here? I mean, not everything in here in the Hall of Blades is bladed. It's a little strange. That's all just drop. No, yeah, like the, uh, these guys certainly aren't. I'm just gonna buff up a little. Alright, there's, uh, this is a brand weapon that I've been carrying around to identify to go identify. Wait, don't drop the fear, that's not right. Man, Tanner Jump weapon. If I got a if I got a triple crossbow, it's like instantly maxed out, but I'm totally happy with a storm bow. Again, like this is a good enough weapon to totally win the game with, so I gotta start with this one forever, it's not a big deal. Uh and the good thing about clearing on the Hall of Blades is that charms on the not charms, what am I saying? Escape patches on this level should now be usable. To go up without landing in the Hall of Blades or something. Yeah, like this escape patch. I'm not sure if it's anywhere important. But I kind of want a staircase outside. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Something in here. Don't know if it's butterflies or not, but uh, these always have something really bad, especially if you can't teleport. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, there's one, the one little spot in here that I didn't manage to exclude. Uh, do I need a book of the moon? No, it's got like Passage of Galibria in it, which is kind of like blinking with extra steps, but it works with Formison, so. Does the one of warping on targeting myself work? Probably not. That sounds like me all like teleport and be suppressed. Well, it's uh, uh Patrick Glover is a portal, so it doesn't get suppressed. We're just gonna buff up whilst I got a bit of piety here. Not piety. Um <laughs> magic points. Well, saves perfectly okay. Everyone just like wanders into the choke point. Alright, there's rapier speed, basic stuff, basic stuff.
And the help must be waiting for me to come around that corner. Because I, I waited up and it didn't come along and it was just sitting right around the corner. I don't want to go. I think it blinked back, didn't it? Ah, I can't wear the helmet, but oh well. I can still check out what it is. It's a resist electric one. I wouldn't care. I've got so many sorts of resist electric. It's the Amulet of Faith with a cold resist on it, but minus strength. I might need a Amulet of Faith eventually, but I don't think I need that one right now. Um. Okay, so uh, I've got the poison resist on my cloak, which I'm never going to take off. So I don't need that poison resist ring. Also, where have I got to go? I've just got to go to... Uh, I might do Vols 5 and then go do the... Hold up. Hold up. Oh, I don't have an escape patch. I just got to go to the slide pits. Because I'd have to go down the center there, which would be kind of bad. Um... Yeah, I don't think the scared is actually gonna want to take to the vault uh, five like that. At least not right now. Oh well. I think I'm gonna if I want to do that one, which I probably do eventually. I'm gonna have to come back when I'm quite tough to go straight down the center and just buff up and kill everything. All right. Oh, is it okay to pick your brain for a choice of character? Uh, your character's make? Yeah, go for it. I'm always uh, keen to hear this sort of thing. Alright, ooh. This is actually kind of nice, because I've got the... What's the penetration? Huh? Come on. Kill the royal jelly. There we go. Let's go up. Fuse on the way up is fine. Right, what's my next staircase? Um, oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm gonna go explore even more. Okay, I'll just explore more then. Oh, what do you do to me? Plus, oh, hit points. Strong world. Well, that's a ball mutate. Um, oh, you're weak minotaur with unarmed 12 found a broad axe plus 3. You wonder whether you should switch to axes, but always feel broad axe a little lacking later on. Um, that's kind of sad. Huh. I'm gonna have the magic map. Let me think about that. So. 12 unarmed is actually a reasonable chunk, but as a Minotaur, it wouldn't take too long. Um... I mean, I probably wouldn't worry about him for a plus 3 axe. Oh, come on, that's ages away. Yeah, I think personally I wouldn't worry about it for a plus 3 axe, but it would be... Would be something you could do, but... Alright. Minus 24 corrosion. I'm gonna just move these guys back a bit so we're not quite as corroded up. Uh. Oh, I just ID'd three scrolls of a charm weapon. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you definitely could, but I'd probably still stick with the unarmed unless, um,. I mean, yeah, at that point, it would definitely be competitive. There'd be nothing wrong with uh, switching over. Depending if you want to play axes again or not, I mean, at that point. Alright, let's go down. Uh... But I feel, what is a Minotaur's aptitude in unarmed anyway? Isn't it decent? I know it's nothing, not, probably not as good as their axes. 
I right, go armed armed for a while. Yeah, I think try and stick with unarmed, especially if you can get like a form or something. That would be kind of fun. Um, I'll try a brand on it. Maybe it'll become useful later as a second option. Yeah, I mean, a few, oh, it's possible to have two unarmed. That's not bad at all. Yeah, if you get like a, I don't know, flaming or something, you might be to kill hydras, although you might have done that already. <laughs> might be done with hydras, who knows? I want it to do to me. Acid links to dungeon wands. Man, these are such weird mal mutates. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd preserve those guys as a positive mutation thing at the moment. Uh, I need to pause for this. Got a bit of resist negative, but I don't think that's that good. Oh, the enchant. Uh, I can back that my shield. Let's go. I don't need the decks. I've got two of those already. It's lucky, Marlin, quotation marks, mutates. It sure is. No, because it's, uh, what, a 20% chance? Oh, this death talisman. 20% chance of getting, a, like, a random mutate? Is that how it works? Uh... Just not necessarily a positive one, so I guess it would be, like, a 10% chance of getting a positive one thereabouts if there's roughly equal positive and negative mutations. I think there is. Uh... I think I'm done here. Wait, whoops. Good old, uh... Get out of here. Before the... Before I mutate luck changes. Is that minus 20? Wait, minus 16? Garage, at least it moves out of there. Alright, so I've done with that place. I've got a treasure trove to go to. Uh, so I actually have to do it. Pretty much just got to go to Zop pretty soon. All right, try to throw. What do you got for me? Fire resist, cold resist, six decks, six slag, but it randomly crows. That's fine. I mean, that's that's going on, right? <laughs> uh, no matter which one it replaces. Yeah. Which draw? Uh, let's get a seventy. Uh, wow, how much slag do I have right now? Seventy-one damage. I've got. Do I have sixteen slag right now? That's just kind of ridiculous. <laughs> okay then. Cover the strats isn't that good. Amulet's nothing special. I'd slag, but I think I'd keep with the decks. That's three decks, two slag, and a bit of evasion. Now, yeah, think about it. Anyway, uh, don't need any of those amulets that are there. Let's just get out of here and start dropping some stuff. Never seen that much slag on a single character. I don't think I have ever, ever either before either. Because they had the cloak, which was insane. Uh, I got the gloves, which is insane, because they're gloves of war. And now I've got the Dex Slave Rig. I mean, that rig's basically perfect for this character. Uh, what can I drop? Uh, probably one of these Fire Resist, Cold Resist, Ice, Intelligence, Ice. I need that Ablet. I mean, I guess we're on some way stuff. It's probably uh, Strength, that's not needed. The Slag's not needed. That's okay, but I don't think I can grab it. Let's see if I can go grab all my stuff here. Nope, there's two more items I gotta drop. I think my wolf house fine out is. Uh don't need another potential cold. Let's stick with that one. Oh the spirit guardian. Alright, that should allow me to finally grab everything. There we go, got all my stuff. Let's head to Zot. Hey there, Moss of Wrath. In fact, I've been just failing fast with it, it's not too bad, but I'm uh, stacking the slaying to ridiculous levels. Uh... Well, if it's, uh, the faster, lower damage weapons are going to benefit more from Stack up slag. Things like quick blades and stuff benefit hugely from stacking slag. Not that there would be a lot of quick blades that make sense for this character, unless I happen to find Guy or Gimbal or something. Because I need a two-handed weapon. In fact, Guy or Gimbal to Fomison would be kind of funny. 
Could they have Gaia and Gibble with a shield? Oh, no. Definitely not going there. There's two ghosts. There's Plog's ghost, which is Troll Fighter. And they're fairly average sort of melee character. And there's Ubam's ghost, which has got Plasma Beam, Fireball, Servitor. A ra oh, Radiant's going to do a lot of damage. No, I don't think so. Got a manual necromancy, which I don't even need, so... No reason to go there. Have I been an Ant of Death? I can't remember. Uh... Go ask the bot. Been an Ant of Prey? Oh yeah, I've been an Ant of Death. I did actually get it. That was probably back when Necromutation was a spell and required Necromancy. In fact, it almost certainly was, because I'm pretty sure I've done a... Neck reputation, Archer, Okawaru, Fobson, previously. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna use my last five magic points to put on the finesse. Well, that ghost ball drains them all. Uh. I feel like sometimes those ghost balls kind of force me to put on buffs even if I don't feel like I quite need them now because I don't know what creatures are going to come along and I don't want to be left without my buffs and no magic points to put them on. Ah, basic shield. I'll keep an eye out for like a... Whoops, that's not right. I'll keep an eye out for a shield that has some sort of brand on it. A tower shield specifically. Uh, but if I don't find one, that's probably not the worst thing in the world. Because it's not like I really have enough enchant, um, I'm just enchanted up and stuff because they enchanted up my current one. Which makes a lot of sense. It's like, okay, let's bring this guy upstairs. Then do it to radiate. Maybe just bring it upstairs because I don't want a whole bunch of those guys or something to want to radiate me at once. Alright, that's a nice little corner. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's so good when you go to shields, just fighting things one at a time. My shield value hasn't changed much for a while. I guess I haven't been trading shields. I haven't been trading dodging either because I've just been getting the um, shape shifting, which means I could probably put it on death times, but like right now. I would have 94% of my normal health. You know, I'm going to put it on. I would have been a uh, lit shad. Oh, I had the right guy anyway. Uh, don't think that that does improve my cold resistance to a really good spot. Willpower's on four pips, so that's actually really high as well. Resist corrosion is still missing, but oh uh, well. Otherwise, Rick resist corrosion is a bit like that. Let's get the decks. Bring my damage rating up to 72. What am I damage rating would like with this weapon here? 101, right? That's. Uh, that's fine. This one's quite a bit faster attacking. And it does do the penetration. I think this is definitely the right one to go with. I don't usually get the death form going like in a, in a three fruit game, but I have this time. Uh... Definitely want fighting, because that's really cheap. I'll just bring it up to like 26 or something. <laughs> Until the value wears off, basically. Ah, might as well go upstairs. Get rid of the corrosion and stuff, and then continue this fight. It's kind of worried that we're all fired here, given how many fiery things there are. Ah, there it is. I got the resist mutation though, and I've got I've lost I've locked in the willpower of the robust, which is nice with this lich form. But the other fire wasn't actually that tough because I got two fire resists, which is nice. Alright, let's uh let's go downstairs. What's up with that book? Oh, I can't fly. It's not even that good, but fine. I'll go get it. Whoops. Wrong staircase. 
I could also put my dex back on. In fact, I've got like an extra dex ring right now. I might go get rid of that one. Because uh, the amazing part of this dex slaying one, of course, has uh, dex on already. I was thinking even going to had to do just some little wasps. So this can still be a problem with their uh, blinking back, but I think it's fine. Like blink back behind me and surrounding me and stuff. Stormbow nice, it certainly is there, no one. Especially when you get like, uh, what, how much slang? Like 16 slang or something to go with it? It definitely makes a difference having uh, 16 slang on the Stormbow. No, this is really nice. I don't think this character can complain about the loot they found at all. Man, this is probably the, some of the insanest loot I've ever had on like a melee character, to, or ranged character, I mean. I've never found it at a time when it made sense to use it. Yeah, I found it, I don't know, I might have used it like once, twice before, but not much. A lot of my characters have found it, I've also found things like Zephyrs or Triple Crossbows that I wanted to use. Um, uh, but if this character, even if I got a Triple Crossbow, I might want to use the, uh, Sombow just because of how much slag I've got. Oh, it's one of these areas with the little traps. I probably shouldn't. Well, like, getting contaminated's not too bad. Um, it's Bison's Ghost. They're a troll fighter. So many of these guys. So many tentacle monstrosities. I don't need to scroll blinking. There's not really loot in there. There's a Moth of Wrath. I don't know. It looks questionable. Oh, hey there, Tiamat. Don't mind me, I'm just putting on some buffs. Uh, I might have to put on both my buffs and there's a full on Tiamat. Oh no, Tiamat would be like. Man, uh, okay. No, we can't have a Berserk Tiamat. <laughs> Come on, stop being Berserk. Oh, she's still Berserk. I thought I might have given it enough time to cool down, but uh, this might be fine. Just worried about how many attacks she gets right now. It's going to be kind of ridiculous. Although I'm doing damage to her. This is remarkably not being as bad as it could be. I mean, a nutty random with penetration that uh, puts Stormbow to shame once. I've had, uh, I had some sort of other penetration weapon that was pretty equivalent to a Stormbow, I think. Yeah, that's, that's some damage. I think this is still fine. That's not what I want to see, though. Oh, she's almost dead. That's also not what I want to see. Hold up. Hold up. Gravitabrine her in. That's better. That's what I should have been doing. Pulling her back with the Gravitabrine. Her Berserk lasted so long, though. That was kind of crazy. Because I did the whole jewel thing, and I waited around, like, waited off the jewel, but it didn't stop being Berserk. Dear man, I'm so strong nowadays. I mean, she's not usually that bad. Like, she's not usually berserk. Uh, yeah, I just could not get that to wear off, though. I feel it feels like, sounds like berserk down tick. Oh, don't take down when you're uh, not on the floor. Probably. No, I think you might be right. Because otherwise, surely she would have lost the uh, berserk. Whereas I know, I know some of the things here to... Oh, we're going to petrify, that's probably fine. Some of the things here to take down, but... I don't know, maybe the Berserk doesn't while they're not on the floor. There'll be lots of these Chaos Crabs. I know there's also you know, Curse Toads, which are fine. Those are harmless. Uh, sometimes it's both, even. I think this is actually perfectly harmless. This is usually a lot worse, uh... Because you can get bad effects happen to you from the Chaos Crabs while there's a Curse Toe shooting you. Or shooting you, tormenting you. But when you're not getting tormented, that's just fine. That Dex is Dex Cold Resist. My Cold Resist is like maxed out right now. Uh, unless I want to swap Amulets back to the regen one. Um, you know what? I might actually want the regen one. Let me give that a try. I can lose a dex to max out my cold resist right now. Um, 
kind of considering it. Yeah, because I'd rather the regen than the magic regen. You know what? I guess it's stealth as well. I might do it. Um, oh, well, I was going to say back down to 74 damage, but I didn't realize I was that high with my damage last and it was like 71, 72 damage. What am I trading? is fighting, isn't it? Which I've lost my manual. I might stop that for a little while. Uh, so I think we're getting a little bit more ranged. Oh, I still didn't get the... Invocations and evocations and dodging. Might have stopped the raging for a little while. Get those uh, 20 actually. Oh, that was Zot 5. Gotta go back to the staircase. Hold up, those snakes, I don't think they can stroke, but I'm still going up. Uh, where's the orbs of fire? I should probably... I should probably pop a revelation. See what I've got here. Oh, the orbs of fire might not be able to get out unless someone else opens the door for them. Not that I can see the orbs of fire right now. Alright. Oh, the plus I'm just scared. I don't have to worry about getting teleported to the midst of the area. I can go on either side. Special trap might not be a bad idea. Um. It would allow me to spouse enemies around. You know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah, like, if things get too close to me, I can just step back onto the trap, although... Might not need to, this is going pretty well. Alright, there's the over fire. There's the second orb of fire. So far, so good. So, I can still duel if I need to split creatures up. Um, how do I still have my finesse on? I guess I haven't waited too long. Oh, okay. How many job weapons do I got? It's going to be ridiculous. And then, let's say 13. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And I can stand back here if I need to, if I don't want creatures to be able to get up to me, because then they have to go over the teleport trap. Um, sometimes I'll just teleport them behind you or whatever. Alright, I'm gonna buff up. I don't trust this, uh, this one here. One of those crystal spears. There's a lot of creatures. Um... I'm not sure about this. Probably oh, yeah, that guy's got an orb destruction. I might get rid of it. There's probably going to be more of those guys coming along, though. Yeah, because I uh, killed the approved teen progenitor, and it's going to. Well, they were going to. All the things uh, that are going to be the same stuff. I gotta get rid of the guy with damnation. Yeah, that was uh, actually building up with the damnation damage. Right, I'll just uh, explore back to the area I've already been, make sure there isn't too much stuff teleported into here. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. There's an orb of fire just sitting here, which was probably teleported into here. Oh wait, I don't want to go inside with net traps. That's probably a bad idea. Those are... Uh, oh, wait. 
Oh, the only explorer decided to go this way anyway. Doesn't matter, I've got past the net traps at least. Alright, I think you just want to explore, there's not much left. Oh, that guy's still alive. Excellent, so that's Zod 5 done. Where next? Pandemonium? Probably not Vaults 5. Uh, maybe Vaults 5. No, I think Pandemonium. Corrupt, actually? No, maybe Corrupt. Corrupt should be harmless enough. I can get a little bit of XP out of it. I'm gonna have to do it at some stage anyway, right? Because I can go here to do the tomb. Alright, but I don't have to worry about Cursed Skulls. I guess I just gotta worry about getting swarmed in this, about it. Oh, there's also the, the Cursed Toes in here as well, which I also don't have to worry about. Those are a relatively new addition. I think my willpower is perfectly fine, I locked it in as well, which is nice. Yeah, so I got four pips, which is exactly where I want it to be. Oh, as always, once again, it's exciting. Gotta go to bed, Kenran. All right, well, have a good night. Fortunately, not gonna get to see the Formosan extended. <laughs> no, uh, I'll probably be shafting myself down through hell, so that's usually the plan with the Formosans. I don't know, I always uh, question whether it's worth shafting myself or not. And I'm not, I still haven't figured that one out with Formosans, but it makes it quicker. Fortunately, I can't shaft myself in Pandemonium, which I feel like would be the spot I'd want to shaft myself the most. Oh, some stage I gotta think about getting myself some Yaras, don't I, to try and, uh... I might just buff up here. Probably fine, most of it's spelled. I think she has a spell dead or something, but she didn't use it. Let's see, um... Alright, Yara's 100% failure, but if I can't get a constable, I can, uh, Yara's up things like marks on myself. I mean, I can't get slowed, so I, that doesn't matter about slow. I can't get petrified, which is actually kind of bad. It's probably worth it. Let's get Hexes to 10. What was that? It wasn't alchemy, was it? It was alchemy, right? Got plus two and plus three aptitude, so I mean, shouldn't take too long to get tenant in both those skills, which I think is about right with tenant. Yeah, it's about right. Maybe need a little bit more tenant, but we'll see. How many creatures can I pull up with my mark here? <laughs> eh, not as many as I thought. But the Yara is generally the downside if you target yourself so you get mob mutated, but it's a lich that's just tiny bit of temporary stat drain, so like it doesn't really matter. Uh Well, I mean it might. If you get a really low on end or something, it might matter training a point of end or something. Which can definitely happen in the hells, especially if you're shafting yourself down. Well, neck reputation just makes this really easy. Well, that of the that of the sixteen slaying. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll do with a tomb. This character, I mean, I could probably just uh, fight my way through. I will be hitting multiple things at least with a bow, but. I don't know, I might be able to use some emulation scrolls in the tomb, it's just I don't really have any AoEs. I probably won't really be picking up spells with the Scarab Dome, I mean, might be able to get Chatter with Tenet, I don't know, probably not. Ooh, hey there, Exit Hua. Wolfhound's good enough, right? Um, oh, Mute Paralysis is good enough for Formicid, right. I mean, I guess that's a, that's a nice little benefit of being a Formicid as well. In fact, I was kind of worried about getting paralyzed on this character a bit earlier on, which is a little bit silly. So, view to the paralysis of Berserk, the slow, the haste, and teleport. I don't know, what else am I viewed to? Yeah, these guys, well, I wouldn't have enough willpower, they couldn't do it anyway. But I'm definitely immune to their stuff. Um. 
I can be petrified though as a form, so that's one of the few sort of negative status effects that it actually does work. You know, what I think about Okawara and the Fobos is like, Fobos has got haste himself up, right? So it's nice to be able to do the Finesse, because the Finesse doesn't stack with a haste potion, but, um... Yeah, it does. I think it gives you better attack delay than using a haste potion anyway, because it doubles your attack speed. Whereas, uh... Is that haste potion only like one and a half times speed or something? Something like that. That's been changed recently. I think in really old versions of the game, it used to be like twice speed as well with the haste, but that was a long time ago. And the slow used to be like half speed, it was really brutal. I mean, slow is still pretty brutal. Uh, hey, Jory. I should really think about getting rid of Jory here. Yeah, that goes one of the crystal spears. Thankfully, missed me though. No, Jory is definitely someone you gotta take out quickly. I don't care about the stuff. What is that? Three fire to three willpower conjuration air. I mean, for a mage, that, like an air mage, that might be insanely good. Who knows? It doesn't mind its uh, strength, so you'd hope you'd have a little bit of strength. Uh, these scales are looking really good. What do I want? Shields to 26. Fighting to 26. Rage to 25. Dodging to 26. I uh, also do the Rage 26 as well. I think the shape shifting is not that important. It uh, helps with the Siphon Essence or something. I tend to remember the shape shifting wasn't that important with the Death Talisman, especially since... I mean, I can use my Siphon Essence. I don't think it really works that well. Um, I think it only works with, like, living creatures, maybe? Maybe it works with anything. I'd have to... Actually, I have to check its description. Nearby living foes, right, yes, which is a bit of a problem when I'm going to be fighting demons and pandemonium. Alright, let's go in. Oh, maybe we should have dropped something. Ah, that's whatever. I don't think guys having my magic's gonna really matter a whole lot. It's not like, uh, did I get any spells? I mean, I tried to get the Yaras, it's halfway there. Actually, I should kill this guy. There we go. Now I can just be at a choke point. I can dig myself proper choke points, which can be really helpful, because most levels of Pandemonium are diggable, which is really nice. Uh... Ooh, Glorik's Vlog. So, he'll probably be fine. He loves to do his Torment, which does matter for me. He also loves to do his uh, spell undead, which does matter a bit more when I'm undead. As a good old necro ad. But if I buff up, I reckon he won't be too bad. Oh, there's Kuskal. Fortunately, I can't teleport out, so if I do miss John Tail Tuffiers, I'm in a bit of trouble. Uh, probably right around this corner. There he is. Still got the finesse on him. I put on the heroism. Yeah. You know, if he's trapped behind his own guys, that might actually be kind of nice. Um, because I think he can't dispel a dead through his own guys. Oh, where is he? Hey, there we go, he's dead. And all the summons disappeared. No, that was uh, not too bad. He's got, yeah, he definitely just got trapped by his own guys, which is kind of funny. Well, he got pounded by these uh, electrocution bolts. Uh, I'm done here, aren't I? I've got the way on. So that's my first pandemonium room, which was actually kind of trivial to get, as it turned out. All right, next level. What have we got? Oh, a mixture of creatures. This one likes to summon, so I should get rid of that one. 
I think the hazel one next to me is barely doing anything. I mean, it might be triggering one of my uh, corrosion items or something, and that's about it. I have nothing for sale. I mean, there's potions which I don't really need more. Book of the Wharf, okay. Maybe the Trevor Stones. I do have a bit of evocations. I don't think I got too much. I think 14 is not bad. Uh, I'm still like a little bit behind. That's just a Mally Pandemonium Lord. If I put on the Finesse, I think it's going to die pretty quick. Hey, it had a rune. Excellent. Second pandemonium rune acquired. The hell was pretty trivial. Oh, I did the abyss. Yeah, that's fine. So I got three more pandemonium runes to go. Uh... Right, good. That's the way on. Wait, this guy didn't even notice me. I just tried to like wander back to a choke point because there was a like, convenient one there where I'd get those guys a little light and shoot them all, but <laughs> I guess they just wanted to wander away. Yeah, like that's what I was trying to do. Just line those guys all up like that. Any of these guys got shields? Buckler of Fletcher now it's nothing worth using. Do I have nothing to enchant? I still got the boots. Hold on, let me just take on boots. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can just go charge up these boots. Six, uh, 79 armor class is a huge amount, but I do kind of make up for it with, like, uh, getting my evasion and shield, I think. Actually, I kind of make up a lot for it just in terms of damage. I'm kind of a... Definitely, well, I wouldn't say glass cannon, but I'm definitely a cannon. <laughs> um... That's going to set off the trap. Dead two. All those guys just had to set off the salt trap. I don't think I could really stop them. Alright. Oh. Uh, I got to lose all my magic points. Goodbye magic points. I hope I don't need them. I can't put them buff here. This guy's got symbol Tommy, which is fine. Can I just get into... I think this will do for now. Oh, don't go for that one. This time we've got like a little bit of sort of choke point type thing. Ah, it's going for the wrong one again. Uh, I wish that would be fixed so it would go for the one it actually can go for instead of going for the closest one. That'd be nice. Alright. Uh... I don't worry about this guy's torment. I'm in lich form. Yeah, it's not doing much. Oh, wait, damnation. Might just retreat back a little bit. Where's that Hellion there? I just got it. Hellions have, have hardly any health, so getting rid of one of those is not a big problem. I'm going to just grab the warping. But unfortunately, I'm going to have no magic points here for quite some time. Uh. Oh, magic mapping's still useful. Intelligence, not so much, but the magic mapping, yeah, definitely. Alright, uh, I don't think this level went down still, I think, did it? Pretty sure it didn't. Try to make sure I light up. Oh, that's alright. Try to light up both the summoners of my shooting there. Hey, Fire Rune. Um, I'm one shot on the fire of this. Can I actually fix that? I mean, I got a basic ring protection fire, which is a little bit sad. Um, but it doesn't matter until I get to the boss chamber. It's not easy to fix the lack of fire resist, is it? Nah, I don't need that ring of fire resist. I've already got a basic one. Nothing's been dropping shields of fire resist or anything. Well, tower shields anyway. I see a little black of something, I can't remember what.
All right, how many rooms have I got after this? A couple more after this. So this is my way in. Is a ring of AC core to this? No, it's not what I'm after. I mean, if it was AC fire, it's just gonna take it, but it's not. Oh, there's a triple crossbow. Um, feels a little bit late to be go with a triple crossbow. Uh, right, I don't need, I don't need the willpower anymore, I don't think. Let's go pick this up, take a look at it. So, if I charted that up, it would be doing... A hundred and ten damage. Isn't that the same as this? It doesn't actually tell any more. I wonder if that includes the decks. It might do. Uh, but it does have a brand on it, so that's something. Uh, oh, he's that's fine. He's stuck by lava. I don't need to worry too much. I should kill some of his, uh, some of his like, little dudes. Oh, I gotta get rid of the Hellion. There we go. Actually, I can Yards him, maybe. Um, how's that Yards going? Ah, oh, no, it's 50%. I probably shouldn't. Oh, the Hellion can't fly either, can it? Head back up. There we go. He is almost dead. I'm still reasonably healthy. There we go. That's better. He was no problems at all. It's always really funny when he gets stuck by his own lava and he can't get to me because he can't fly. That's like the cheesiest way of killing him. I mean, it's... Yeah, I don't know if you get much cheesier than that, really. I will check out these little treasure vaults, uh, but they mainly just seem to have money and trash, but a lot of them might have something. Nope, okay. I'll take the one of digging. I haven't been using many ones of digging. I mean, I did use some in the slime pits, I think, to get uh, more ways down, but mainly I've just been relying on my innate digging. Six rooms, okay. Um, two more pandemonium, that's fine. Next level, ooh, glowing. Do I also have got the cold rune after this as well, right? Um, do I need to magic map here, or is this fine? Let's buff up, because the summoning here is getting out of control. Who's summoning these guys? Okay, this one. Alright, so this is better. I can just sit on my choke point. Oh, oh till that guy comes and ruins it, but that's uh, Kanko Demons for you. Ruining your choke points, that's no big deal. Uh... Not too many guys surrounding me anymore. Ooh. Ooh. It's Minolik. Um, I was going to back a little, up a little. Still got the minus one corrosion, which is why I'm kind of worried. Hey, the corrosion's gone. Okay, I'm fine. I got the whole, like, uh, Peldration, so I could definitely hit him despite... I'm trying to hide behind his creatures. Uh... Alright, Manolik's dead. Excellent. That's what I want to see. I'm just shooting the six shooting the gateway itself does nothing. I think you actually had to shoot the tentacle that's coming out. I don't know. I was allowed to be shooting it, but it didn't seem to be doing anything. Alright. Uh, looks like it's keeping up, which is the one that I'm most worried about because it's the uh, lowest attribute on this character. Alright, still 8. Yeah, it's fine. 
But I don't think the the, the quag snakes do quite as much in draining as they used to. I think they can still drain some, but not the, the ridiculous levels that they used to be able to do. Oh, it's just an axe, a holy axe of causality. A very grandiose name for it's like plus zero holy axe, but all right. What have we got here? Yeah, we go. That's my rune. I think. Oh uh, wait, hold on. I'm not ready for that. Uh, for the abyss just yet. There we go. That's better. Next level. Hopefully the cold level. Whoa, it's pandemonium lord. Chain lightning minus fire is this okay? Um. Oh. Woke up this dude. Definitely gonna be buffed up here. But it was nothing special about this level, so at my earliest convenience, I can just leave. I might try to get a bit of health back before I leave and a bit of magic points back. Uh, maybe. That's been fighting quite a few creatures. Oh, I might just leave. I got my health back. That's all I really need, right? Give me... Okay, another way to the abyss, but I still one rude shot of going there. Oh, that whole group of creatures probably uh, got the pandemonium blow, but you know what I might go for it. We'll have to wait to the next level. Yep, well, certainly right about having the way to the next level. Oh, I was right about the pandemonium blow too. Drain strands? You know what I might just finesse up a little bit. Uh, I want to drain too much of my strands. Okay, still got some strands. Alright, I only drained a couple of strands. That's fine. Next level, come on. Oh, no icicles here. Next level. Oh. All the disappointing levels. All right. Next level. Nope. Next level, come on. Nope. How's that, uh, oh, 40% of the hours? Pandemonium is not worth much experience, especially when you do it like I do, where you just, like, skip half the levels, because, I don't know. Just, uh, just trying to get the experience of Pandemonium is really painful. What have we got here? We've got a sling I don't need. We've got a book. Amulet of Ferret Guardian. Resist the library of cover at this point. I don't really need that. What is the book? Dispersal. Application. Eh. Sure. I mean, I guess I could get some application or something. Wow, 70% failure. Sure, I guess I get a bit more shield skill, maybe. I think it costs fear, but I'm not just going to fade many creatures. Um, right. That's a pattern body of blood. Is this a valley one? I'm going to just step back and buff. How did that guy get behind me? I don't see anything they could have dispersed it. Did it spawn in or did... It might have just spawned in because I know creatures do sometimes spawn in in sight. Alright, next level, come on. That's a good old pandemonium lottery. I'm missing a rune, right? Yeah, okay. Just double checking because I've been through quite a lot of the pandemonium lottery levels here. Not getting it, I think. Oh, another, another kind of exit out. It's really trying to spit me out, but it's not giving me a, like, my last rune, so I'm not leaving yet. Uh, I was going to cool down Damnation, which actually reads me powerful. I just make sure I'm buffed up. Alright. Hey, there we go. Icy level. But I'm right next to boss chambers right now, which is kind of nice. Uh, these guys aren't even really getting up to me. They're just kind of dying to all the little arrows that are flying off. 
Cards is maxed out, which is great. I think I will be able to take on uh, Lob Lobon here. I just gotta buff up. With whatever I got to buff up with, I guess, just finesse. Maybe Charism, does that even do much these days? A little bit more range skill, I guess it does something. Oh, there they are. You know, I'll do it. Because this is one of the tougher Pandemonium Lords. Uh, and not being able to teleport out is kind of not great. His eyes going to blow up the lighting before it gets revealed. I'm going to get into the... I was still about to get into the polemonics, but I killed Lob Lobon, so I'm all good. Uh, now I'm just going to find a way to the abyss. Go get the rune from that one. Uh, in order to head to the next level, this level is perfectly fine. There we go. There's my abyss entrance. No reason to swap to Legato, unless I'm trying to get a Legato title. Wait, there was a... Oh, there was a way down here, I missed it. Ah, oh, still here, good. Because otherwise they disappear once you get them out of sight when the Abyss resets itself. Alright, level 3. Level 3 is fine. Level 3 or 4, I think, is where I'll go. Ooh. Wait, this creature. Hold on. Oh, it's a gateway out. I thought I said I, I thought it said to take the rune or something, but no. I just go down to level four. That will get me the rune a bit quicker. Uh, I feel like so auto explorers doing a very good uh, job of exploring this area. Let's go back to somewhere I've already been. Which is going to be less likely to find me the rune and try to explore somewhere new. So many ways out. This is getting kind of ridiculous at this point. I feel like I take two steps to the way out. Take two more steps, there's another way out. Uh, there's another way out, but I fought for that one. Right, the fact that I got regen is definitely helping here, so I think going down to level 4 was perfectly harmless. Because uh, I know some characters, they can't quite keep their health up, but this character is. Wait, there's a, there's a little rune there. I'm feeling you can kind of go around the other side. Because like these creatures are finding their way around just fine. Right, I might have been inside the Rudolph area, I'm not sure. Hey, there we go, that's my first rune detected. I can dig through normal walls, but not, uh, not some of the walls around here. So let's gonna head, uh, straight to this rune. Ooh, looks like I'm quite close. Ah, uh, that's not digging walls, is it? Alright. Don't disappear on me, Rude. I gotta go around the long way. Okay, I think this is... Oh, no, confusion. I think this is the front entrance. Uh, I just confused the way off. There we go. I put on my finesse because I gotta get to this room quickly before it disappears. Uh, I think it's this way. Good. Ah, it's like 69% fail on the importation. I guess I just don't have the translocations to make that work. So I'll just go grab it. There we go. And now I'm just going to find my way out of the best part. Given how many exits out of the abyss I've had previously, I have a feeling that's not going to be a problem. Unless uh, all the exits have dried up now. Use them all up or something? Don't think so. Wasn't there like a really epic bug where someone got basically every square of the abyss was just covered with a pod loud? At one stage? I don't know what caused that, but yeah, someone... I think it's the way out, right? No, no, it's not. It's the way down. 
And that was kind of a wild bug. They went into the abyss. It was like 200 gateways out or something. Hey, there we go. That's the way out. Right, let's get out of here. Um, so next place to go is hell. I will, I think I'll buff before I go down. Yeah, I think it probably makes sense to do hell right now because I've still got the, you know what, actually, in here. I've still got, um, what's it called? Still got the vaults to go, vaults five, but I think I'll leave that one for a little bit longer. Well, it's super effective having a weapon with penetration when you're hiding in a corridor. I mean, I could have dug it a bit further with a wand, and that might have been worthwhile to get everything in an even bigger line, but it didn't need to. Uh, Tartarus is a good option, because Tartarus is right next to me. I can do that as my first hell. I'll clear out the Vestal of Hell first, though. Um, so if I have to escape Tartarus, I'll escape into a cleared out level. Well, probably cleared out. Sometimes you miss the occasional creature. So I think Tartarus, maybe the icy one, wouldn't be too bad. It's not like you could drink potions anyway as a lich. Uh, where else is there? I got the good uh, ice resist as well. I don't know, I'll start with those two. <laughs> really? Dude, so I have to take the spot in front of me, it's fine. Uh, none of these guys are dropping shields, are they? Someone dropped a tower shield, Zot. Okay, that's fine. You're kind of lucky to get this shield off. I think it was Louise or something. They haven't been fighting any good shields since. What's the Nether? No, wait. The Nether World of Tartarus. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh... Skills look fine. Everything looks fine. Let's go in. Is it this dude that's silencing the area? I reckon it probably is. Oh. I've been howled. Get rid of that guy, because I think that's the most important one to get rid of. Let's try to get rid of the howl with a bit of Yaris. But the Yaris is unfortunately still like 40% failure or something. Um, I thought I was working on that. Wait, oh, I stopped. Okay, let's get some more alchemy and hexes, I guess. Um, the hexes helps with the cause fear, but I'm not sure how useful that one is anymore. Might be helpful the boss 5, which I'll probably get to do in reasonably soon. Apparently he's rowing up to die. Oh. It was brought by his art trap. I might just buff up, but the hell sandals can be kind of tough, although that wasn't too bad. It's just uh, their damnation could definitely add up in damage. Oh, right. Another way down. Wait, it's just flagged by Silent Race or something? I don't know what the other side race is, but it doesn't matter. I'm not sticking around to find out. The problem with side race is I can't put on the buffs anymore if I get uh, hit by a side race. Oops. Ah. I'm currently held. Oh, we're done to this middle. Gonna... Oh. Gonna duel. Can I duel one of these? Okay. I don't know about how good it's gone. Um, how do I get health back? How many turns have I got? Uh, that's the question. What am I going to end my death tallies, man? I got to drink a healing potion. Alright. That seems fine. Let's put the death tallies back on. I'll put on the heroism. Although, don't show how much I need that one. 
Yeah, because there's now these two to the submittals, but I got my health back, so they should be able to dispel Debbie to death. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I mind too much about this mic. All right, there we go. This way down. I got a bit of health to aid, but I think I'll head down. And I gotta remember, I can't be mesmerized because I don't think I got any clarity or anything. Uh. Right, uh, what do I want to do? I just go, I'm just going down again. Hey, it's the last level, so this is a, this is a river ending. I love the river ending. Does have a lot of to the submittals, but I think all of these endings to Tartarus have a lot of to the submittals. Those are the, I think the main thread to this character. Have I said to the uh Doomhounds are a threat because they can summon in the submittals of the how? But I think most of the other things in here are not too bad. I mean, the average Google is also going to be a threat because she can also summon in the Tzitz Middles. In fact, she might be able to do this as well did it herself. I'm not sure. Either way, she could be a problem or she could be trivial, depending. I mean, I'll always be able to shoot her even if she's got things in front of her because I got the pale duration, but. Let's see how things go. Uh, I don't really need to explore this little corner, but I will. Alright, so this is heading in towards the boss chambers. The boss chambers is going to be probably here, I would guess. Because you have the, the circular I'm doing now, and you have one of these on the other side. Um... Yeah, this doesn't lead the boss chamber, no, it just gets a little bit of money. I should clear at least one side, but I don't think there's any point in clearing on both sides. It's not like you can teleport or anything. Uh, should be some profane servitors in here. There they are. Yeah, there's always a bunch of those dudes hanging out, guarding some treasure. Why do they drop? Oh, just whips. Nothing. Plus 12 orc blow? No. I mean, it might be plus 12, but it's still not that good. Um, okay, good. This side's done. So I'll just head in here. I might just buff up because I know it's going to be since it's middles. Oh, those aren't since it's middles. Hey, it's a seven of hell. What does this one do? It does bolt of draining, bias for breath, corrosive bolt. I feel like the corrosive bolt could do quite a bit. Um. Mm. I'm thinking about doing a grab a tambourine, but I don't think I do that right now. Because that could be your uh, pull creatures back from you, and it's actually quite effective. Hold on, can I get Erich Kiko and a grab a tambourine? I can too. Okay. Uh... Well, I'm going to grab a tambourine back again because you're beginning to get up a bit closer. She's quite wounded, but not quite dead. There we go. Got her. I love that Gravitambarine. <laughs> Even if it's exclusive with the like, Vile Floods, but against her, it's definitely better than the Vile Floods. In fact, the Vile Floods aren't that good at extended. There's so many things that are just immune to it. Uh, actually, I don't need the Cloak Will Palace. Get out of here. I'm done. I got my rune. This is all that I came here for. I don't think I got that many runes. Maybe like 10? Yeah. Because I didn't do, uh, do vaults yet. All right, where's next? Uh, I had to plan. I uh, cold, cold era. That's where it is. I probably should drop something. If I if I make cords, this is just fine. I don't need that one. A bit of flight would be nice, but yeah, let me look at my rings. I'd have to lose some decks, wouldn't I? 
Um. Oh wait, I lose the cold resistance as well. Unless uh, no, just lose like five decks. I think that's okay. Down to seventy four damage. Oh well, I just love to be able to fly in here so I can get to the walls. All right, let's go down. And then you can dig into the walls because most of the coastline of walls are perfectly diggable. Uh, can I be petrified? I presume I've got enough willpower that I can't, but uh, generally I would be able to. They're like, not a statue for a real thing. Alright, let's go down. How are my skills going anyway? I think they're alright. 8% on yards, okay. So I can get rid of the uh, petrify if they not, start petrifying in here. Well, there's 8% failure on the yards, but that's probably good enough. Uh... Okay, none of these levels have been ridiculous levels, but they vary a lot in toughness. I started to get the card shard strike levels, and those can be quite a difference in toughness from some of the other ones. Right, uh, I mean, it's just one thing at a time, but that's probably the right way to do it with this character. I mean, I do, do shoot it like a beam, so hitting multiple things also works, but... Oh, there's the charge wreck, I might just buff up. If this is only one, yeah, it's only one, it's fine. But they often come in groups. Oh, there's a second one. There's a third one. They can come in groups of like up to like eight sometimes. Uh, but they're usually just small groups, like three or four. Yeah. All right. Level five. Oh. I got a buff up in March, but it probably doesn't matter because I'm in a good choke point. Which, uh, these levels are so small, if you get marked at the end, it really doesn't matter. Uh, got the finesse on, that's right. That's probably the, all the buffs they need with how many skills are going these days. Alright, next level. Uh, it can be really nice to be able to blink to get to those walls, but that doesn't really apply to a form of... Oh, man! Ooh. I gotta take out some of the stuff. Uh... <laughs> Kill the single guy, I guess. Um... I don't think I'd push me on the staircase. I might try to get rid of the lich before it pulls out too many crystal spears. Good, I can shoot multiple guys. What is the thing to watch out for when you're shooting these, well, effectively javelins? Uh... Alright, good, that doesn't seem to be too bad. It looked pretty scary, though. That's what I mean about these areas. can sometimes be drastically tougher than others. Hey, last level. Alright, excellent. And uh, the entrance of this one's not too bad. I mean, I can see a few things. Uh, I think I just gotta go directly up, but the level might block me from going directly up because I don't think these walls are diggable, unfortunately. Kind of what gives away, partly what gives away what part of the uh, type of level does. Yeah, stuff up here. Oh, just step back because those Wendigos are throwing simulacrums at me. I might just buff. I mean, this is probably going fine, but I don't want to risk it because I don't really have a way of healing up. Apart from, uh, if I draw something, I can probably heal up with a potion, probably. Oh, what's, uh, what's Antaeus got here? Nothing? I'm ready to back a little bit. Oh, alright. 
Let me get back to the way he goes. I reckon with the um, finesse, all this is going to be fairly easy. <laughs> Man, I love that Gravitamarine. <laughs> it just works. It's not like the old gels gravitas that was really unreliable with pulling things back. No, the gravitam read not only does it pull things back, but also like stops it moving for a couple of tons as well. Alright, Death Towers, but I doubt it's an artifact, but I'll go check it out. Oh, it is an artifact. Magic points. I mean Sure. <laughs> I'll take the magic points as themselves, I guess. And they they come for free, so might as well. Uh alright, I'm out of here. So the entering towards the staircase, so they constantly give it the tainting creatures. All right, what do I need? So I've got uh, twenty six of lost skills. I'm just gonna max out the invocations because I think I can get myself a god title. Um, we've got Gehenna, we've got vaults, we've got Iron City Dust. I think it's time to go do the vaults and then maybe the uh, maybe tomb after that. All right. I mean, it's gonna be fire on me, but I got the fire of this, so. Probably gonna take a bit of piety because I'm probably gonna have to refresh the buffs a few times, but oh well. Uh, in fact, I might get rid of get my health back, get rid of the corrosion, that sort of thing. There we go. That wasn't too bad, because I kind of at the point where this character's uh, doing a lot of damage. And then nice and uh, lighty up for me as well. Alright. I lost my boss, but as we get my health back, I see a shield on the ground, but I think it's nothing special. I'll just quickly check on that one. Tower Shield plus zero, yeah. Alright, well, I think I cleared out the center, so I can probably just uh, go auto explore the rest of the level. Uh, hey, there's a rune. Up to 12 runes. So, what have I got? I got the Tomb, the Fiery Hell, the uh, Gehenna. I've got. I'd City Dust. I think that's all three of them. What was that artifact? Plus nine longbow. Nah. I got a penetration longbow. I'll be just fine with this character. Wait, what was that? Ah, what's that item? I just walked over. It was probably the staff of youthful indiscretion. I usually mean, find with performance that they don't have a good choice of rune, right? Because the uh, third rune. But the snipers wasn't too bad this time around because they tried the roll jelly all the way over to my staircase. Because uh, uh, the vault really isn't a good choice of third rune. Like, you get absolutely swarmed. Because you do have to kind of fight for the staircases. And even if you get an escape out, it's not like reliably going to put you somewhere good. Um... No, this character's kind of had everything they needed. I'm actually kind of curious how many blinking scrolls they had with this character. Um, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, a reasonable amount. It's not like, uh, not like excessive. This hadn't been seeing like a huge number of them, so it's like maybe it was a good thing if you'd have it, but that's actually a decent number.
But yeah, Bob says might not be like the best for win rate, but I always find in terms of like the uh the advanced species, they're actually not bad. Because the extra power they get to kind of make up for their lack of teleport is significant. Be able to use a shield. This is significant later on when you actually find the shield and stuff uh, with a two handed weapon. So often you don't need to teleport out at all. Um, where the Delta character might. Especially if you're like careful with Okawaru buffs and stuff, make sure you actually use them. Uh... Where did this character? I know this character found Trim Cross, but where did I find it? I don't know, because Vaults was kind of disappointing with his rage weapons this time round. Or was it? Wait, hold up. Where did I find this one? Oh, Depths, right. That alarm didn't seem to matter. Didn't even see the last dialog. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Done. Uh, double check, but I don't think it was too much on the ground here. So that longbow. Yeah, the robe of regen. Now nah, I'm done. Let's go to. Which other hells? I'll just go to hell. Oh, wait, no. I was going to go to. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I was going to go ahead and uh, two, but I might actually go to Gehanna. I'm kind of worried about this one, though. I'm going to buff up before I go down. At least look fine. I mean, I can dig into the walls, which is fine, but sometimes you get nasty stuff after you. That's no scrolls, no potions. I am allowed to jewel people, though, so I guess that's something. Yeah, so I kind of got jewels the equivalent of using a scroll to escape, sort of. And I've got uh, buffs, which is kind of the equivalent of my potions, the uh, finesse and heroism. Well, not so much heroism anymore. But the finesse, anyway. I think that dispersal trap's working to my advantage. Just keep... These guys actually have a lot of rage attacks. I don't know. Suddenly it doesn't seem to be hurting me. <laughs> Jar, just go down. Uh, how's my max health doing? Alright. I don't think this is too bad, but I did see that brimstone feed, which, uh, if you get enough of those hitting with damnation, it adds up. Alright, marked. Marked's fine. Especially when I marked in a choke point. If I was marked somewhere that was worse, it would be bad. Hey, I'm a victor of a thousand battles, excellent. That's not actually maxed out yet, it's just currently my highest skill. I'll max it out, max out the invocations. Uh. Oh, that's multiple brimstone fiends. Probably had to be somewhat careful with their damnation, because they were some of their friends just around there for a while. Alright, last level. Looks clear. The entrance, anyway. I find it funny how, like, the Victor of a Thousand Battle titles are so long that it, like, wraps. I don't know if, it, you know, if I need a buff here, but I don't want to risk it. It takes up an extra line. Yeah. The battles, but didn't quite fit on. I think it's the only title that I can think of that does that. Um... Oh, some of the other titles are reasonably long, but I don't know. I'll get fighting, ranged, max out some dodging, get some max out shields. I don't know, that'll do for now. I don't think it's going to take too long to max those all out. They're all like 26 or something already. Oh wait, uh, should we go for this one? Uh, okay. Yeah, so much damnation. There we go. I do have, uh, 269 health, so I'm not exactly short on health. But damnation damage still definitely adds up.
Oh, that's the boss. Um, Paul the back a bit. I think I just need the finesse. Wait, where are they? How did they lose track of me? I guess I got a little bit of stealth. I think I got some stealth items on, but I never really trained the stealth. All right. There he is. Oh, don't bring these guys out. I'm probably going to have to get rid of these. Does he hold damnation himself? I think he might, but at least I want to keep it down to one thing holding damnation at me. Next time he summons, I might do a... Oh, yeah, there we go. I might do a grab a tambourine. Got their boss lined up. Ooh, he done all the summoning again. I still got the finesse on, which is nice. Um, he's almost there, which is nice. I might just crush him with another gravitambourine. Oh, didn't move that far. Hey, there we go. Got him. I like, can you know, go steal his runes. That uh, brings me on to 13. I'll probably go do Tomb and then the Iron City of Dust in that order. That's probably the sense border. Um, yeah, what's my tomb strategy? Am I gonna... I gotta shaft myself. Nah, I'll do more of this level, then I'll shaft myself. Um, <laughs> I gotta try and skip the sec... Does it make sense to skip the second level? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'll clear out the, the easy guys in here, but I just uh, don't want to do the guys in the wall. I mean, I'm probably fine doing the guys in the wall, but... She do I want to shaft myself? Because that would generally you want to end up in the middle of a level with uh, a lot of characters, but maybe not this character. Actually, I'll consider not shafting myself. I think the guys on the wall are perfectly fine when I've got Lich Farm gone. <laughs> I'm just dating all the guys on the wall, that's kind of funny. Yeah, you can just see there's a row of guys in there. That's probably one of the down staircases. Should just give it shooting straight ahead. I know those uh, little guys that got up to me, they have the Holy Wrath attacks, but at least they got good uh, physical defenses. The, what are they called? Bad use or something. I don't want to let the bad use build up, but... Yeah, definitely they're not too bad with my defenses. Also, do I want to swap some rings around or something? Because I put the flight on it. I've been riding, running around that one for a while, but I don't need it anymore. I can put the decks back on, I think. Yeah, we go. A little bit more evasion. 48 evasion. 40 geo value. That's more like it. Then I might get netted up here. <laughs> I'm trying to think about dodging those nets, maybe it's just not go off for whatever reason. Anyway, there's my way down. Um, do I take the actual staircase? That's... No, I don't think I do. I think what I do is I shop myself down to where I get up. Oh, I'm on the wrong side for the staircase, aren't I? Actually, not too bad for the staircase. There we go. Got the net trap out a few. That was the one I was kind of worried about. Uh... No, I think that's a good spot to be in. I just uh, sit around here for a little while, get rid of the whatever connect. Oh, where's, where's my. Where's my finesse? I should have that one on, definitely. This is tough enough to justify a finesse. Well, truly. It's worried, like, if that uh, door gets popped open, then I'll be able to see that net travels not trap or something. Right. So that's how these get a little bit closer. Uh, there we 
There we go, got another one of the net traps out of you. Right, to the staircase, uh... I just explore this uh, entire piece of this level, I think, just to get rid of the, well, the piece I can get to. Get rid of what I can. I'll probably get out to uh, exclude that door as well. Really? Three? Oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but the three Zotraps there, I think I can take this way up, which should lead to the walls, good. Oh, um, Mike is okay. Definitely put on my finesse, though, because I'm going to have a number of mummies, I think, make their way to me. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some mummy coming around this corner. <laughs> Oh wait, salt trap. Uh, and a net trap. I might just buff. Uh, hold on. I'm shooting the wrong guys. Oh ah, yeah, draw the wrong guy for a second there, but that's fine. Right, so the wearables are taking lots of things, which are scarab beetles, makes sense. That would explain why there's so many things. Yeah, there would have been a lot of mummies if those were all mummies. Anyway, I should get to the way down pretty soon. As long as my end survives, I may have still got uh, seven in. I should be fine. Uh, there's probably a lot of these, are probably raw mummies. Because these uh, staircase areas tend to be pretty dense with the royal mummies. Oh, that's not. That's not either, okay. Maybe not as dense with royal mummies as I thought. Oh, only one of those guys is a royal mummy? Alright. Anyway, let's go down. Go to target the right one. Oh, oh it's not. Not that usual to see revenants in here, but they do have the, the spell dead. Uh yeah, they're not uh, they're not covered though, so it's not too bad. Alright, uh, it's time to go down to the last level. I don't think I can really put on any buffs or anything. I mean I can put on the air of them. Oh what's might as well. Oh finesse, I mean. Uh that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'll magic map again. There's a net trap on that side, but I might head for it. I don't emulate these guys. I have a hard time getting through them. Oh. Uh, da, 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 okay. Oh. Okay. Not the emulation. That should collab my way to the staircase. Oh, there's one guy in the way. Okay. Uh Skill do I want? Don't know if armor helps that much. Did I reduce what sort of armor I was wearing? Let's see. I think I'm doing throwing. I might be able to get a bit of evocations. But I might be able to pull some of these guys off the staircase off where I need them. To, uh yeah, let's just grab a tambourine some of these guys. See if I can get this area cleared out. Got an 80 something health, which is the uh, not the best. Gotta get rid of these guys, I think. Still got the finesse on. Maybe could I don't think I can actually duel these guys. Now I think about it. But if something comes along I can duel, I could duel it. Although I think I could get to the staircase. 
There we go. Well, so a decent amount of mummy is taken care of, but I think I'm gonna have to go downstairs again. I'm gonna shaft myself this time though, try and get somewhere else. Oh yeah. A decent spot. Alright, now it's just like, oh, I should get rid of this one, although I think the tag was about to go for it anyway. I think I can just sit here and kill everything that comes along. I should get rid of these liches, it's just they have orbs of destruction. I mean, with my shield, I can probably block a good amount of the orbs of destruction, but some of them will still get through. Yeah, this guy is spell dead, so I should get rid of that one. I uh, don't know if I can... Good, I can't hit both of these guys. Hey, there's a good old Khufu with his royal mummies. He's just gonna... He's just gonna kind of blend in with the other creatures, though. Uh, he doesn't have any... Anything too special. He doesn't have silence or anything like that, so... Should be fine. Uh... Yeah, that's what I said, he was fine. Right, so I want to grab the ziggurat that's on the ground. It's not on this side, it's probably the other side then. I want to grab that one because you can use that to escape to, well, to a ziggurat, of course. And then, I don't know, it's kind of kind of a bit like dueling. you got to fight whatever's in the ziggurat, then you've got a chance to heal up before you head back out. Yeah, because of the Ziggurat, you've got, like, no time limit. Uh, this guy's an intelligence for Boris. Oh, he's doing his own destruction. I'll just buff up and shoot him. Yeah, I mean, his own destruction got through my shield, which is what I worried about with the liches earlier. Hand cannon's way too small. Yeah, like a two-handed hand cannon. I need a full-on cannon or something. Anyway, what was I trying to grab? I might grab some more evocations. Oh, I just go want to get some. Get the... Gravitabrine powered up a little bit. Do I have basic fire resistance? Might as well swap it out. Uh, where's my cigarettes? Oh, there it is. If I'm not gonna, like, chart up the triple crossbow, which I'm probably not, no point in, like, Actually, you know what? I might carry this around. Hold up. Uh, I just basically can chart it out. Uh, then I can drop the shot weapons. I suppose I carry around the brown ones. I might try, try rebrand and see what I can turn it into. Ah, uh, did I... Oh, so I wielded it. Okay. Freezing's not terrible. So I got a damage up to 117, which I feel like was pretty much equivalent to this one. I right, also 121. Uh, this tag delay is probably pretty similar. Oh, slightly faster, is it? 1.1? No, that seems about the same. Alright, good. Good, got a root. Got 14 of those. I just one more to go. Uh I need to make my way out of here through all these unknown staircases. So it's the Iron City of Dust. Anything I want to do, anything I care about doing in the Iron City of Dust. Uh Trump crossbow seems highly questionable. Anyway, oh I can't use the horn. Anyway. Because I'm with Okwar, sure. Fair enough, because it's some creatures. Let's go down, see what I get. I can magic map, I might as well.
probably gonna run low on piety going through this place, but that's fine. It's my last location to go through, so it doesn't matter that much. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Uh, these aren't diggable. Uh, no way these are diggable. Hmm. I think the magic map is lying to me when it says that's diggable. Did my evasion go down for some reason? Why have I got 35 evasion right now? Oh, strength. Oh, strength is drained to 5. No wonder. The armor penalty? My range tanks might not be going quite as fast either. I don't know. Uh, Maybe I should get like a little bit of armor skill now that I think about it. Just get it to 10 because my armor's not completely light. Alright, hopefully I can get some of the strengths back and don't have to put on a ring for it or something. Ow. Alright, that's a hell set to again. Um Oops, I wanna hit both of these guys, not just one of them. Not doing as much damage as I like here. Ow. Um, I'm doing some damage, but it's really not doing the trick. I don't know if it makes any sense to pull it back, but I'm gonna try to pull it back with the grab tambourine. Um. I don't really have a way of healing up quickly, which is a bit of a problem. Alright. Gonna shoot it, but it wasn't doing too much good of damage before. There we go, got rid of it. I always had to, like, pop my ziggurat there. That was getting pretty sketchy. I don't do as much damage in here, do I? I'm down to 81. Um, due to the corrosion. Yeah, it's a good 10% less damage. Uh, these are all fine. I'll just spray the back into this corridor. Because <laughs> uh, they, they're not very smart. Oh, they also get trapped in this corridor. Actually, having those on the front, not necessarily a bad thing. It gives me better defense. Next one, I guess. All right. But as often as it's a tail center, also the main problem in here. All right, time to go down. Uh, I lost one strength temporarily. That's okay. It still hasn't recovered, but at least my uh, vision's coming back. Uh, max health strain. All right. And going down again. Level 5. Oh, I'm going to get love trapped. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. You're the most dangerous one, which is the health center. Well, I don't think this guy can hit me very well. About 2% uh, to hit me. Yup. So we'll occasionally get a hit through, but... Certainly a lot more tame than the... Health Sentinels with a damnation, which is definitely going to help me. There's no dodging damnation. Alright, there we go. That's the way down. Level 6. Whoa. I just kind of bring these guys around this corner. It's okay, but I did see a Hell Sentinel in here before. Maybe it won't be on attack because of some of these other guys. Who knows? Oh, no, it's not the front. It will be on the head with this damnation. That's another one. Okay. Still got the finesse on. Alright, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh...
Last level, okay, just stay straight. They'll be fine. They'll recover. You can probably magic map out this level, see where I need to go. I was uh, directly this way, basically. Well, not quite directly that way. <sighs> Gonna buff up. Really don't trust those Hell Sentinels. Juggernaut's probably fine. In highlights, they've got that much damage they do, but they really aren't too bad. They don't have anything that ignores my shield, I don't think, or my armor. Uh, anyway. Anyway, Fidel's back. All right. Can we get one of these strikes thrown at me instead of outran the giant that could have thrown it? Uh... Gotta be careful with the iron giants, they will throw things at you and they will also... Hit you with line shots, but apart from that, they're not too bad. And the throwing can definitely be a problem if uh, you can't deal with the thing that gets thrown next to you very well. Alright. If I go around the right way, I'm going around the wrong way. Right, I see. That's fine. It just glides out a little bit. Actually, I should get rid of this guy. Oh, there's a Hell Sentinels buff up. <laughs> it was with friends. Uh... Oh, those are just... That's your regular old Iron Golems. Should be hitting both of these. There we go. Well, sometimes it just doesn't do a lot of damage, but anyway. Oh, my party's still reasonably attacked, and I'm getting close to the boss. Um, Refresh the finesse, though. I a couple of these health sentinels next to him. Oh, I think he woke up because of the damnation. I can have a retreat back, but see if I can get some of my health back. Right, no, there was one, there it is, one more of these Hell Sentinels, oh. I can just bring the Spader back without this Hell Sentinel, that'd be nice. I can't mirror him because I'm with Okawaru. I can not grab Tamarine him if I want. Nah, I'm gonna wait till he summons something, maybe. I don't think his Valley's too bad, there we go, he's summoning something, I'm gonna grab Tamarine him, see what it does. Hey, sucked him right back, ooh, I think this is fine with the Hell Sentinel out the front. There we go. Excellent. What do I want? I will get a bit of armor. Yeah, whatever. Bit of armor. Excellent. 15 runes. Uh, so now I just gotta get out of here. Then I've got the grab an apple of faith. Um, then I've got to look at titles. Then I've got to grab my rune. Okay, any one of these is fine. That'll do. I know there are some Okawar titles that I can get. Uh, let me just go look them up. See how many pips of party I need. Okay. Okay, gods. Yes, gods are what I want. Okawaru. Ant at arms. Uh, or forms that it could be either of those. I'm not entirely sure. So I need to be down to two pips of party. Alright, that's easy enough. Hopefully no Seraphs, actually. This character can probably deal with Seraphs just fine. They're not a shiny one worship or something. No, they're just stuck with Okawaru. Okawaru's not a terrible extent of god. If you can get the Necro mutation going, that's actually pretty good. Um, 
What was that tower shield? Hold up. Ah, I stepped maybe the wrong way. Fire resist. Uh, I feel like I won fire resist job, but it probably oh it doesn't really matter. I don't think I'll probably end up putting it on. I'll just leave it there actually. That's probably like one of fire or something you can drop. Uh, okay. Whoa, hold up, silence, oh, I gotta find it now, that's how I could grab a tab and read it back to an area where it's not silencing me, but I don't think I can. This guy's fast, okay, I'll just buff up. This puzzle draft's kind of funny. Just setting it everywhere. Uh, oh, I've done level 5 already? Wow, I'm making some quick progress here. Oh no, it's got chaos around, doesn't it? It's really fast. I just gotta, gotta buff up. Um, I'll probably just have to grab a temp, read it back. Got one charge of that. Yeah, I might do it. Because I don't want it to get up to me and start hitting me with all this chaos. And get me with, I don't know. I can't paralyze me, but it might be able to do something nasty. Can't berserk me, actually. Can't do that many bad things. Right, at the exit, let's, uh, soft around some face a bit wildly. Mm, hey there. I think I removed my other outlet, but I don't think I got the face on. Yes. Okay. Come on. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, Anton Arms. There we go. I'm pretty sure I haven't had that one. I'll double check, but uh, it's a bit late now. Uh. I've had Ant of Death, Ant of Prey, Mary Ant, Sheepless Ant, Wish Granta? Oh, Granta has Ant in it, right, that makes sense. Let's uh, get out of here. That was a good game, though, that was kind of fun. Uh, it took me a little while to get the Formicids going, but once I got a Formicid going, the Formicid definitely got going. Alright, well, that's good. That cloak was so helpful, that was amazing. Uh, the deck top was okay, it was nothing special. The gloves were amazing. Give me more slag. That's 10 of my slag. Yeah, the Dex uh, slag ring was absolutely amazing. 16 slag, though. That's got to be the most I've ever had on a single character, right? At least uh, up there. I came 102nd because it took me 81,000 tons. Oh, that's right. I got the one gem. I did, uh, did a save press and just found the gem intact despite fully exploring everywhere. All right. That was less than four hours. It was a quick run. No, not a surprise. Didn't get my uh, triple crossbow, but I, oh, I kind of did, but I didn't use it. But I'm happy with that. I got a stall bow, which is even better.